You don't pick against Brady. Oh, if the Browns win game. that game Monday, you might look forward with that for you. You are now listening to the Not Your Average Sports Fans podcast. Now here's your host, Alex Michaelman and the fans. Also there, too. Hello and welcome to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. I am Alec Wackerman, welcoming in to the studio, the fans. Guys, how are we doing today? Doing good, doing Don't good. Don't you look at me like that. Didn't turn your volume down. I did turn it down. <laughs> yeah, let's We're not starting out like this. We don't need the fans. I'm to not have starting like this. Well, like We're starting like this. this. Damn it. We're starting yeah. like this. All right, fine. It's not my fault your volume's all the way up. Volume. Anyway, volume. You can, you uh, can, you can, I could use a volume. Can, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. Anyway, to answer your question, I'm here. Oh, are you? I, I guess. Hey, it's all that matters. It is. We're here. We're alive, and we're well. And it's time for the weekend. Who said we're alive and well? Okay, we're we're alive. Who I'm said alive. We're alive. You took your pulse this morning. <laughs> oh, you mean on the outside? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So. Here is what we got going on today. Uh, I got, I got, I got, here's the thing. I have so you, many questions right now. I'm dead on the inside. I'm going to tell you. Oh, oh, wicked. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this just got weird. Wait, 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 fast. So, so I, this is an inside joke for the story. Yeah, but I'm going to share it anyways. Um, we need to make a segment on this show mm-hmm. called Sessions with Dr. Doug. Oh, actually, uh, well, it's all oh, you have that. It's an intro. intro. intro made. You made an intro for that? Oh, we made an intro. Hopefully, I have it in here. If not, we can do it. I'm going to have to look for it here in a minute, but I want to get into our bit here first. Yes. yes. We have an opening bit before we even are going to get anywhere close to anything because we want to get to this mm-hmm. as fresh as possible. So, uh, our friends over at the OK Cafe actually made us uh, some pizzas and. With one of the pizzas, I had asked them if they would make us a mystery pizza. Mm-hmm. And I am going to ask everybody that is in studio, a.k.a. the fans today, we're going to have to guess what toppings are on that pizza today or what type of pizza it is. So today we have toppings pizza instead of just a specialty pizza. So we are going to have the fans, without opening that box, put their guess in for what toppings they think is going to be on that pizza. Rachel, I'm going to start with you. And you can do whatever you need to. Smell the pizza. But, feel the box. But don't hear it. Listen to it. Just don't open it. Just don't open it. That's the only rule. What's it, what's it sound like? What's it sound like to you? Smell like? It, it, it sounds like? like the inside of my head. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Nothing. Oh, oof. <laughs> Man, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. We need oh. to have Dr. Doug today. <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy. Don't choke on that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, while he's doing that and Chris is choking, I'm going to pop uh, this guy right here. I'm sorry, buddy. I- <laughs> you set it up. I fucking hate it. I know. So you said we're going to guess three toppings? We're going to guess three toppings. I only have two. Okay. So I only guess have- two and then give me a third one that you think it could be. Well, let- watch it be only two toppings. I'm going to say. Yeah. So, or one. I'm, my, my two guesses are bacon and pepperoni. Okay. And then I'm just going to throw out you know, the sausage. Okay. Dalton, what do you got? So, I'm going to take another. Oh, yeah. Now I'm breathing. Barely. Sure? Never got how to breathe. I have a feeling that, that oh, I'm getting a big whiff of bacon. So, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess just pepperoni ham bacon. Okay. I'm going to guess that as a three topping. Okay. So, I feel like we need somebody to write these down. Somebody write these down for me. Um, I don't have a I pen. Here, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I got. On the back. I got a pad right here. I got a notepad yeah. right here. What? you say um pepperoni bacon and sausage and i said is that pepperoni ham, ham bacon. bacon all right chris and alec you'll go last absolutely i'm actually in the ballpark i'm with dalton i think it's gonna be pepperoni ham and bacon okay let watch me see it, that guy watch it be like canadian bacon <laughs> <laughs> it's still bacon, it's bacon. still ham. <laughs> Only, it's still ham. I know. It is. I know. Man. Sounds like my head. Nothing. Stop. Stop that. Stop that. Right. He, he, right he said we can listen to it. Stop that. Don't tell him how to live his life. Okay. And play. Okay. Buddy. So I think I'm agreeing with you guys on the bacon. There's always pepperoni. I feel like there's never in right. my entire life ever not seen pepperoni on pizza. And number three. <sighs> I'm going to go with sausage with you as well, Rayson. Sweet. 
So I think we're going to so go with that guess. Yeah. So, I'm Raceland, sure if you would like to do the honors, open it towards the camera for me. Yep. Can you see it? Uh, I'm going to guess. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. It is. Just pepperoni and bacon. Just pepperoni, pepperoni and bacon. bacon. So I had duped you guys. <laughs> I guess it. I guess it was only two. I thought it might have been three. See, that's why I said I only had two. Oh, see, geez. this is why we need to know the toppings. Well, we, we, we need, need to know, know how many toppings. Top, how many? Technically, we all we all got a right. We all got a third topping. You guys get half point. I get a whole point because I said two. You said there were only two. I the first because piece, I don't smell two. Sir, you get the first piece of pizza. Then you get Switch the rules. There you go. That's the rule. You get the first piece with that bit. Wait. So, now we start passing around, start kicking pizza out. I am yes. ready to enjoy some. As I'm waffle. stuffing pizza and Absolutely. choked on it. Oh, your fault. So, anyway, as we get pizza passed around and dished around, um, I will take that box as well because I would love some pepperoni bacon. He's got it. Beautiful. But, while we oh, kick this guy off, true. let's kick it off right. Raceland, what is on the mind, sir? Um, pass. Pass. <laughs> pass. Pass. What are you next? I got, I got, next. I got pizza on the brain. Um, and not a whole lot. I mean, uh, mini camp started or training camp started this week. So actually, I think maybe I actually started last Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, for some teams, some yeah, teams, some teams started last week. Anyway, um. I'm sure we'll get into it a little later, so I'm not going to talk touch on it now. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, it's it's been a long week. I'm house sitting for my aunt and uncle while they are on vacation. Beautiful, and uh, they live out in the middle of nowhere, so the internet isn't very good. Fun, fun, fun. That's why I wasn't on the live Wednesday night. I was going to text you guys, and I'd forgotten. All good. And then because James and I tried to do our podcast mm -hmm. uh, last Saturday, mm -hmm. and Discord was not wanting to cooperate at all. Hmm. It, it was breaking up so bad. Yeah, and that's just an internet issue. Yeah. Then. It, it takes me 15 minutes to load a five-minute video on, like, YouTube. Yeah. No one cares what you found, Nobody Siri. I guess Siri, I guess Siri really likes Nobody listening. Cares, Siri. Nobody cares. Yeah, apparently. Siri was trying to help you with Siri's the internet. Siri's always listening to us. Mm -hmm. I know. It's scary. Get your tinfoil hats, boys. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dalton. They're in the corners. Yeah. Dalton, stop looking for Martians. What? Martians. Martians. How are you doing? Stop looking for them. I'm doing good. Um, real quick though. I yes. guess I'm just a TikTok trend on this thing. So I saw this on Instagram. So So Raceland and I well actually I found it on TikTok. Raceland found it on Instagram. We're gonna try, they call it the redneck champagne. So what I've heard, it's one part bush light. It's one to one ratio. So I think I can get almost all of it in here. Probably. I wish I could speed the video up. Because I'm concerned. Don't be. <laughs> I'm going to drink the whole thing, too. Oh, I am, too. There's a lot of foam with this, though. Yes. So I, it's I, one part. I, I think the seen. Mountain Dew will take that down. It's one part bush light and one part Mountain Dew. Oh, I, I think I got wrong. a big enough glass for both of us to try this. Okay. No, I didn't. Hold on. I got to do, do the old nose trick from college. <laughs> Kids, uh, don't listen to Uncle Doug. Why do you think I haven't put my finger in it yet? I'm just gonna let. <laughs> do you just want that on your nose? I did. I did. Mountain Dew is the new hardcore drug, allegedly. <laughs> All right, so this is a one to one ratio, or damn near. Damn near. Mine is one to one because empty. But mine hands. is one to one. Empty. So... Cheers. Oh my God. <laughs> God. Holy shit. That's fucking that is good. what Mountain Dew alcohol is supposed to taste that's like. That's what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> that's not what it tastes like, but that's what it's oh supposed to taste like. Somebody, somebody. It's oh, what it's dude. supposed to taste like. That that is That is good. That is good. And it killed Dude. <laughs> Mountain Dew was made to be a whiskey chaser. Oh, it well, is. Well, that ain't whiskey, but it's not whiskey. whiskey. But damn, that's a chaser. That's, that's a good. latte. Thank God for rednecks. <laughs> Thank God. So what you're telling me is, you can drink and you can be caffeinated. No. It sounds like your dream. It's not yes. highly caffeinated though, but it's enough to get you working. The guy that the video that I saw, I don't know if you saw the same video. 
The guys all said, now I'm in, uh, now I'm a drunk and a diabetic all at the same time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, because uh, it's, <laughs> 154% of this is sugar. Mine's 92. I got a 20 ounce. I had to stop mm-hmm. at the gas station. I had a can. So, but uh, no, well, that's you do I'm diet, doing, man. I mean, uh, I, I wanted to try this and I damn, I like it. Chris, what's up? Not a whole lot. Actually, a couple things on the mind. First one is ready for the weekend. Big, long weekend, hopefully, even though it's going to be short. Long old work week, but hot, tiring, but ready to be in here, ready to talk sports and talk about the NFL. Definitely a lot of topics. And the second one, I'm going to drop the stats real quick for a dude that had 1,031 receptions. 14,731 receiving yards, 81 receiving yeah. touchdowns, five-time Pro Bowler. He was a NFL Comeback Player of the Year in 2005. He is a Triple Crown winner, and I am dropping a, we dropped a special on Steve Smith Sr. from that had it. He played both for the Carolina Panthers and the Baltimore Ravens. And we made it an episode. He it is episode 89, and we are in the process of uploading it and dropping it. So be on the lookout for a special here soon. Is that Chris Mike on the mic? Yep. Chris Mike. Well, actually, want to know what? What? You don't even have to say soon. You can say right now. Uh, it's in the is, process right now. Is it up now? It should be up right now. Good. You can listen to it when, you're, yeah. when we're uh, done recording here. Absolutely. Yes. And we'll definitely be pushing it. Absolutely. To be honest with you, you'll have three episodes. Yes. Once this guy's over tonight. Because I opened yes. the last two. We did have, oh, yeah. Yeah. episode 88. That That's it. Yeah. yeah. What episode is this? This is 90. We are now on episode 90. 90. Oh, boy. <laughs> we do have a little bit of catching up to do, but again, we got some yes, ideas on we the do. horizon. We're rocking it. Right. We can knock it out. Oh, 100%. So, Chairman. Yeah. What's uh, on the mind? It, that That is I. Um, what is on the mind? I'm happy it is Friday. Yes. We're enjoying pizza. We're in yes. cold beer. Yes. We're in studio recording. Yes. Mm-hmm. I got cold beer Mountain Dew. Me too. Hey, and guess what? I got cold beer. We're not going to get interrupted by a storm. Thank God. Yes. Oh, my God. That's God. what I'm thankful for. Yeah, I want to apologize for that, too, man. That, yeah. That, we... that, I'm sorry. Um, Actually, anybody that uh, had listened to the video episode, I had actually recorded some video and posted it on the end of the YouTube video just for anybody to kind of understand what had happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll also put a clarification out now. Uh, we lost connection due to some internet issues and some electricity issues as well. And we were unable to finish our conversation about Major League Baseball. But I think we're going to have a good conversation tonight about some baseball. Look, I'm not worried about it because it's not in our control. Mm-hmm. Mother Nature's just Mother Nature. Dead. Mother Nature's a bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could have, you know. Mother Nature was a moody bitch that day. I'm sorry yes. they didn't get to hear the full episode. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not sorry we lost connection because it's not our fault. Mm-hmm. I'll get you. I'll get well, you. we still have bits of the episode. I've been a negative going. Nancy. Yes, we we do have negative bits of the episode. I've been a negative Nancy all week. Negative Nancy, I've been swinging for the fences all week, so we're going to bring it. I'm tired. So I've been happened. tired all week, so uh, that's why I'm a negative Nancy. I'm, I'm here. Tired. That's all i got to say. I'm here. Right. Dude, I can't you not. That's Tuesday, the line. Tuesday, I woke up, and I'm like, man, I still feel like I'm asleep. What's the one thing I always open with? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Quit taking my shit. It's going to be trademark in here for trademark it. Done. Make it a shirt. <laughs> Done. Make it a shirt. He'll make should it a shirt. I really should. But truly, that's that's really that's on mm-hmm. on the mind. But want to know what is really on my mind as well? What's that? What's going on right now in the NFL? Like trying to first thing camp is starting. Oh boy. Yes. Everything going on with the Browns and everything is still heating up and keeping alive. I, yes. I just, it's getting swingy. Um, swingy. It's getting swingy. It's swingy. Um, We're getting swifty, boys. <laughs> swifty, swang. I, I don't know. Like all the stuff right now in Cleveland is just different breed. But NFL camps are underway. What have you guys been hearing about camps? Um, I know. I think Chris, you had sent something earlier today about um, what was going on between Baker and Sam Darnold. Uh, I saw that. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of quarterback controversy, and they're battling for the number one spot. And everyone thinks it's going to be between the two of them. Of course, you're surely, I'm indifferent on it. I think our rookie is looking spectacular. He's literally the first one on the field for a camp and everything. 
But I definitely think it's going to be a three-person race, of course. Personally, if I had to start one of the experienced quarterbacks, I would lean towards starting Baker Mayfield, but we all know that's not going to happen because of the special Matt Rule, Sam Darnold connection. So I'm already (laughs) set for that misery. But I will point out something special I did notice earlier, and it was within the last two days of camp. There were two fans, I can't remember their names, but they were hollering at Christian McCaffrey and they wanted a pair of his gloves. And the kid's like, Christian, I got a bag of the Cool Ranch Doritos. Will you trade me? And Christian's like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, I want a pair of your gloves. And Christian's like, yeah, I'll give you a pair of my gloves. He's like, I don't have them on me, though, but I'll definitely say something to one of the guys in the office, and they could come down and get you gloves. He's like, tell you what, bring some tomorrow. I'll give you another pair of gloves. 24 hours later, going into the day, both kids show up with a pack of Oreos. So Christian's like, well, I'll take one pack. And he's like, but your friend has to keep the other pack. You two, we'll, we'll do, hang out together, share Oreos with a glass of milk, and we'll just talk football and stuff. I don't know how much time passed by after Christian talked to him, but one of the office guys of the Panthers, he's like, hey, you got the kids that gave Christian McCaffrey the pack of Oreos. And the kid's like, yeah. He's like, well, here's a pair of cleats, and the gloves are on the way. Autographed and everything, and even Christian signed the pack of Oreos. So Carolina camps, definitely. So he did his own meet Joe Green. So, yep. so what you're saying is, is that he's going to get injured week one? Uh, week yes. three, preseason. <sighs> or trying on the uniform. They are not letting him play preseason. <laughs> the, they're not. Hey, no, uh, they're going to run Chuba, Chuba, Chuba Hubbard, Chuba. James Eaton. The NFL is a joke. No, James, you're a joke. <laughs> James Eaton is. Do so. I? Coworker of mine. <laughs> well, why oh, you I, say have no, I have no problem insulting them then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll have a talk with him Monday. Hi, James. How you doing? I got a question. Why? Why do you say that? I, I'm, I want to know. I want to hear you out. You got a problem? <laughs> it's just the NFL. My phone's blown up now. <laughs> we no, we no. black at all pro it's sports. Right. At this no, so uh, us on the camp topic. Did you guys hear about Joe Burrow? Joe. Oh yeah, he's doing. Yeah, yeah surgery. He, 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 he had appendix. appendicitis. Yeah. And he got his appendix removed right before day one at camp. I did see that. It's the only thing you can hear on sports in Ohio, right? On sports radio in Ohio right now. It's like a midlife crisis happened with him. Guys, it's an, it's your appendix. It's the most useless part of your intestine. It is the most useless part of your body. It is. You don't need it. And they actually were doing questions to like recap some people like, well, do you need your appendix? And actually one, one person said, yeah, and they, no, you don't. And no. I'm like... It, it, it's, it's not just that a, big of it, a deal. It's just a sack that holds useless fluid. It is. Bile. bile. It's a bile sack. Mm-hmm. So pretty much what you're saying there. is, Joe Burrow got a shit sack removed. End of story. No, bile is Done. a vomit. Not shit. It's no. in your lower intestine. It's both. Bile is technically vomit, isn't it? No, bile is... Uh, bile is just body waste. All body waste. It's just all body mm-hmm. waste. It's just... Uh, just so it's vomit thing. and shit. Okay. It's everything. It's everything. Mm-hmm. You name it, right? Well, well I, I wasn't good at science. Leave me alone. Technically, it could uh, be God, part of sweat. I wasn't good at science. I got to take chemistry twice. Well, chemistry is hard. But... Okay, well, so we're getting off this. Yeah, 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 so it's it's like, well, why are you bringing up the Bengals? I saw a video and everyone's memeing about it. They already said Eli Apple's in season form because he got burnt really? by Jamar Chase. So, yes. so it, it's not it looking did, good. But it wasn't by uh, like a whole lot. Right. But everyone, Jamar Chase saying, burned the safety even worse. Mm-hmm. If you watch the full video, yeah. he burned the safety even worse than Eli yeah. Apple. Yeah. Eli Apple was actually like running still. You know? Yes. The yeah. safety just was yeah, like, yeah. Done. This is coming from my buddy James. Okay. He said that Eli Apple started out with bad form. Okay. Because mm-hmm. as a corner, when you're going back in, into coverage or even in man, mm-hmm. you're supposed to be a little hunched over, knees bent, mm-hmm. backpedaling. Okay. He said he was standing straight up and then just kind of like, <laughs> like he was taking seriously. Can, can you do that? Get really close to the camera yeah. for me. <laughs> Mark it. Clip it. Clip. Mark it. Clip it. Same you have something page. wrong with you, man. God, you're just not figuring that out. Oh, no, I've known that for a while. Say so we've known <laughs> each other since what? Two thousand eight, uh, nine, nine, nine two thousand nine. nine. So when you went to Elgin seventh grade, right? Yeah. Elgin. 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 Seventh grade. So that was uh, 2009 for us. Damn, we're old. I feel it. <laughs> I need to get the Walker Same. parking sign for you guys. 
All three of you, actually. You want to be walking with a walker? <laughs> I actually just do almost me, every just, day when I'm at work. Me. Hey, just think about it. You're not going to get any Wendy's chili here before Can long. So. <laughs> now we got Mark in the that's, that, that's what Dalton's gonna look like. I'm mean, for my snowvers. Snowvers. <laughs> I can't even do it. What's wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. Jeez. Oh man. Load up, little Jack, for that right there. Keep the storm that's big good. There. Good giving you guys. Yeah. Glad that golden bucket card. Mark, Larry, the cable guy. We're canceled. Shit. I'm going to hell. But it's not like I won't know any. <laughs> hey, man. Right. I'll be at the bar. Hey, hey, I'll be at the hey, bar man. first. I'll have the tab open. <laughs> Anybody get a reservation for rooms? I got a house down there. It's good. <laughs> oh, nice! It's it's always sunny and a billion degrees. Yeah, <laughs> everything's just slightly worse than what it could be. Yes. Mm. Yeah, you guys hear about Hitler's punishment? <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> all I know is it involves hey, we're canceled. Hey, we're canceled. All, so all I know is it's pineapples. You guys ever watch, uh, what is it, Little Nicky? It's been forever. Yeah, oh, Little Nicky? I was like yeah. seven. Um, I actually was watching that I'm one time. Just many. I'm yeah. not going to explain it, but go watch Little Nicky. Just yeah, many. So, I was watching that Nate's Barber Show. i get my haircut one day. Anyway, so we're, while we're still talking NFL, Chris, I, I see you brought something up about Big Ben. Yes. Uh, what, what, what is Big Ben saying? What? Give me a second. I got to pull up the tab. Yeah, I'm watching what comments. What, what, is, what is retiree saying? They did an interview, and he was talking beforehand mm -hmm. about his days of playing. Mm -hmm. And Ben Roethlisberger made a quote saying, I feel like the game has changed. I feel like the people have changed in a sense. Maybe it's because I got spoiled when I came in. The team was so important, it was all about the team. Now it's about me and this and that and the other. And Cam Hayward was talking. He's like, I don't know what you mean. And he was literally, he jumped in, literally defended the team. And he's like, we've been teammates for this long, and he's wanting to talk. And then there's another, next day, he dropped. Big Ben said, I probably should have been more detailed, more specific. It's not the majority of the guys that are that way. But he said that he felt like the game's changed when he was, for I can't remember, the Steelers head coach before, and then Bill Cowher and Mike Tomlin. But he said he feels like the cha the change all the players playing right now, it's not like a, we're a team, we got to win. It's always, oh, if I'm here. We got to do it my way. It's about me, 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 me. And so, Big Ben's thinking, Big Ben Roethlisberger's thinking so, that's how it's starting to churn. So here's what I have to say. Nobody cares you retired, number one. Who? Exactly. And number two. I don't think I have to say anything else other than you are retired. Nobody cares what you have to say. Once you're done in the NFL, you're done. Nobody cares. Seriously. If you leave a good legacy, that's all it is. It's a legacy. Mm -hmm. You're not still playing like, you know, Shrine Boy's favorite guy, Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> so You gave me hope because I dropped the special and I thought that was what you were heading towards. No. So uh, just break my heart more. So that who cares? Literally, God, that mountain. I think I'm going during normal Mountain Dew. Damn. Well, I'm here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm, letting, I'm letting my high school self come right. back out again. But yeah, nobody cares, Big Ben. You're retired. Go mm -hmm. back to your walker in your retirement home. That's all I got to say. One, two, three, Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he'll be going to Cancun. I don't know. I don't know if he has the money. You think no, he's, he's got a hell of a Bora guy? Yeah, he got a pension. He's got a hell of a pension. You think he's more of a Bora Bora guy? Might be Bora Bora. <laughs> Miami, Florida. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I didn't know he was a fan of the Le Coco. <clears throat> I'm in love with the Coco. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That was popular when you and I were in high school. I know, man. Uh -huh. Back for a second, and I was like, mm. "It's been a hot minute, right?" <laughs> the walkers out. Coco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's almost like you have a little bit of experience doing that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a seat. So, <laughs> getting back to it. So, this is just the you want to know where Big Ben really got his biggest shine? Coach football. That's what we're chatting next, you know? Okay. So, oh, we're jumping right to college? You're what? Yeah, we're jumping right to college. 
I'll yeah, say, well, what else do you have about talking about with the NFL? You guys have stuff for camp? The USA Today oh, predictions. And you want to talk the camp? USA Today predictions? No, no, whoever did that's stupid. We're just going <laughs> to... Yeah. There we go. All right, can, I put a, can, I, can I put another little little thing out? Sure. Go for it. If anybody that listens to us actually pays attention to, the, to those USA Today standings, don't. I need you Handle. to do me a favor. Go to whatever platform you're listening unsubscribe go check your life for a day then resubscribe and come back and listen to this mm -hmm. and yeah come let's say to today doesn't know shit about sports nope allegedly allegedly have you ever seen their college ratings actually match up to what they predict? Have you ever seen? No. Only Alabama. I've seen uh, uh, yeah, Alabama. Only That's one thing. Why? Because they're the best. Quote, unquote. Allegedly. Stop. <laughs> He's See, trying to give me. You credit. set it up. You do. Hey, there's no ostriches here. Chill. Oh, well, long necks for life. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, what other camp stuff you got? Colin Murray. Oh, mm. hey, hey, man. Oh, yeah, it's Actually, I wanted to ask you about that. So what yeah. do you think of that clause, that uh, that that study hall clause that was added to that contract? I didn't care. Please tell me y'all saw all the memes about him. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bro, yeah. that is the most embarrassing shit you could ever have in so, a contract. Boys, I don't have homework anymore. Get on. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Boys, on, baby. That, that you, you, raise, raise, that you raise such a conniption by having a study hall clause that they take it off because he whined enough. And that, that meme is hilarious, too. Okay, so I'm going to look at the camera here real quick. Don't just use one of them dollar words or one of them college words. I don't know what the heck you just said. A conniption? Yeah, a conniption. You just use one of them college words. College? Stop it, Siri. Go <laughs> away. <laughs> See, he's looking up college words, too. No, serious Bryce don't use the college word. Probably. Serious probably. My phone... My phone must be dumb dumb or something. No, no, it's just no, no, it's you all the time. It's because I wear my watch really tight. I like tight watches because I don't want to lose it. And when I do this, I bump the crown. So, it, so it's you like having feeling in your hand? No, I have feeling in my hand. I, I'm getting. You didn't have to prove flow. it to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. Yeah. Go back. Anyway, what are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't care that that they put that in his contract. To be honest with you, because I mean. If, it, if he's going to spend, it was four hours a week. He If he spends one hour a day for four days a week watching film, it's just showing that, you know, they want him to get better. They yeah. want him to be better. I'm not saying he already doesn't watch film because I'm sure he does, obviously. It's part of practice. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if, he's, if you've got to make him watch another extra four hours of film, I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about it. James is telling me that, that, um, one of the guys that does Jaguars radio, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he said he watches like three times more film than, than Kyler Murray apparently does. I said, well, no shit. Mm -hmm. Because he is he is a broadcaster. He has to watch damn near every game as opposed to Kyler Murray just watching, hey, who we play this week? Play the Vikings? Okay, let's watch their defense. And he only has to watch defense. He doesn't have to watch the offense. Like, that's a stupid fucking comment. Do you think Stephen A. watches three times more? No, he watches ten times more. Max Kellerman. Apparently doesn't watch anything because Mac Max Kellerman, I love him, but <laughs> he has, he talks some shit. But anyway, no, uh, Kyle Marie said that he he felt disrespected about it, and then they took it out. And then right. I saw, it was either today or yesterday when he said this. Patrick Mahomes said, I don't know why me, Kyler, and Lamar are constantly being, what was it? Uh, that, my mom said it earlier today. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Why we're constantly being questioned? Yeah, something along those lines. Why? Why are we constantly I'm asking being that questioned? question too? Like, why are they being questioned? I don't know. So much. I don't know. People, and then okay, okay. Let, let, let's let's run this down. So, you got Kyler Murray. He has he has an MVP, right? No, he no, doesn't. No, he has rookie of the year. He has rookie, rookie of, the year. of the year. Okay, we have Lamar Jackson who has an MVP. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we have Patrick Mahomes that has M uh, MVP, Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP, and, and Super, uh, Super Bowl MVP with the Super Bowl ring. Two rings, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Why? Why are they questioning him? These guys are doing something right. 
I mean, one of them is a technically a running back, but he can throw the ball. One of them is short, small, and can run fast as hell. And Patrick Mahomes has a fucking laser mm-hmm. of an arm. Yeah. Stop questioning him. Right. Do you let 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 those guys play ball, oh, but 100%. regulate what they do within your own team rules? I don't. I don't know why the NFL has to budge in on so many things. I mean, I understand why, but I don't know why the player association has to actually budge in. Because <laughs> that's their job. Yeah, they want to. I know, but it makes no sense. Let the team do what the team's got to do to win games. <laughs> I mean. So I, I, you talked about the NFLPA. I saw something the other day. I don't know if you guys saw it. You probably did. Um, the NFLPA and Deshaun Watson are prepared to sue the lady who is trying over his his um um suspension and they are asking why she has not done it yet they are going they're prepared to sue her if she does not have a announcement on the games come week one no let's hear I agree with that. that i mean go for it if yeah. week one we still don't know go what deshaun it. watson's suspension mm-hmm. is he is going to gear up to play, and the NFLPA and Deshaun Watson are going to sue. Uh, her name is Sue. That's all I guess. Yeah, it's Sue Robinson. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's Sue Robinson. They are prepared to sue her if she does not have an announcement on the suspension come week one. Well, and I think Alec had a good point on this, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're dragging it out for a reason. Yeah. Yep. They want him to go through camp, and then they're they're going to try to wring his neck well, did, at the end of it. Did so. you see what happened, or what what the news came out of Cleveland camp today was? Hmm. Brissett's been taking most of the first team reps. That's understandable. It is. Mm-hmm. it is. So if he's taking most of the first team reps, he's getting a lot more time underneath center mm-hmm. than what Deshaun Watson is right now. That's the thing is, <sighs> Deshaun Watson. At least what I've watched recently, I went back and watched some old text and stuff. Yes. Now, he's a naturally gifted athlete. So get, uh, he's probably taken 50% of the reps, maybe out of snaps. If you have a 20 play snap count against the opposing defensive scout team, mm-hmm. he's probably taken 10 of those. Maybe yeah, five. I'd, I'd say probably more along the lines of five because they said he's that Brissett's taking the majority. Well, of it's week one of mm-hmm. camp. They're going to split all reps accordingly mm-hmm. to grade. Well, then they would have said that it's 50 50, not Brissett's taking the majority. Mm-hmm. So if he's taking the majority, then it's probably 15 5. Exactly. Yeah. But it's still keeping him fresh. Yes. Is what I'm getting. Right. At. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we, still getting him in there learning the offense. Right. I just I don't understand why. I, I like that they're going to go after her. They I do. Too. They, you can't drag this out. They've been saying they've wanted to sus- at least have, they've wanted to suspend him and give a number since June. The estimated it's time almost line, August. The estimated timeline was by the end of this month. August 1st is Monday. Are they going to come out with an announcement tomorrow or Sunday? Hell, should, definitely not going to be Sunday. No, because when, when, when does sports media like, like to release stuff? Either at the beginning of the week or the end of the week. Yep. So... Maybe they do release it Monday. Maybe they release it later tonight. Highly doubt that. Tomorrow morning. I've seen stuff released on a Saturday. Sure. Yeah. Right. Usually Saturday morning. I don't know. We just, still. they need to figure. <laughs> my question is. As, as my old OC, figure it the fuck out. Seriously. Yes. Yes. Just figure it the fuck out. Yes. Do your job. My question is, what's the holdup? Mm-hmm. Why is it taking so long to make this decision? Are you still looking into evidence? Because I think it's already come out that they what have evidence. They, I think it's come. I think I think I read somewhere like two weeks ago that they have their decision, or that they were close to their decision. Mm-hmm. Sue Robinson or a spam account released a six-game suspension that looked pretty promising, but nobody else talked about it. Yeah. No. Again, what's the holdup? If you have your decision, if you know what you're going to do. Say it. Exactly. Stop. Stop. Twiddling your thumbs. You're giving this Browns fan right here a heart palpitations he's waiting so long. Get your thumbs out to your ass, type up what you need to type up, and send it out. Amen. Have a media conference if you have to. I don't give a shit. Praise Jesus. Do what you gotta do. Get her done. Say how long the man's suspended for, and then move on. Hallelujah. 
you're only bringing you're bringing Browns fans pain, obviously, because you're you're making them wait. But you're also mm-hmm. bringing crap to yourself because you're not doing it when you should. It's making them look like a joke. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And being one of the most top rated sports that's surpassing a lot of other sports, you don't want to make yourself look like a joke. It is the tough sport. Yeah. But look, the NBA was on top at one point. At one point, they were. Mm-hmm. They were on top. They were slightly almost. Okay. Yeah, almost. Wait. At one point, we had the NBA pretty high. And now look how far they've dropped for how much political. Cry baby BS. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to put it. That's a better way to put it than what I would. The time I could really think the NBA would have been ahead of the NFL was when Jordan played. And even then. That's, well, yeah. Back in the 90s. Did you got, actually, side topic, did you guys see that stat? There was like a meme. ESPN released something about Jordan did better with the Wizards in like 03 to 06 with a couple washed up players than the Lakers have. Yes. This past season. Yeah, I yeah. laughed. I laughed when I saw that. I did too. But. College football, you say? Is there any, yeah. is there any more camp news? Yeah, I, I haven't gotten any other camp I'm, stuff. I got, I got a funny one. And then we'll what do you got? So the Jaguars released um, their backup kicker today. Mm-hmm. Released? Released. And they signed Elliot Fry. He used to be the kicker for the Eagles. He was pretty good. Don't know why Philadelphia cut him. Because they're dumb. Money. No, because they're dumb. Um, that too. Elliot Fry was a good kicker for like a season or two, and they just up and released him. Don't, again, don't know why. But hmm. anyway, Jaguars kicker. Yeah. yeah. The backup. He was an unsigned free agent. They brought in to compete for the starting job. Okay. He okay. shanked two kicks today. Okay. One short left, one short right. Okay. The one that went right hit a Jaguars uh, media reporter on the shoulder while he was talking to a team official. Yeah. So they cut him. I see why he got cut now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember hearing about it. Ooh, oh. Anyway, okay, college football. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have anything to come <laughs> no, with that. Cause no, that's, uh, I have no comment. I have no Ooh, comment. I'll hold, I'll hold my comments at this mm-hmm. time. I'll hold my piece. So college football. Yes. We have been talking about the conference everything lately. Yes. Because the conferences have just been everywhere. Yes. What do we got? Any new, any new information with our conferences? <laughs> any, new, any new California teams going to be added to the Big Ten? So I saw... Oh, uh, after literally the... You good there? <laughs> the day after we talk about it, about Notre Dame trying to figure it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Their athletic director came out and said, no, we like being independent. Yeah, because they interviewed Marcus, Marcus Freeman in an interview mm-hmm. with ESPN. So like, uh, we kind of like being independent. And I'm like, hmm. have fun uh, not getting anywhere if these super conferences do start to arise. Yeah. That was the dumbest statement I could have ever seen cross my phone. No. <laughs> no. Everybody else. We, the Big Ten got two California teams, Southern California teams, yep. to come all the way to the Big Ten West. Yeah. Notre Dame is just going to sit there in la-la land with their gold painted. You know, this is why Notre Dame, like, you don't hear a lot about a lot of Notre Dame players yeah. that go to college, or after college that go to the NFL. Yeah. Because these sons of bitches are becoming doctors. Yeah. Who the hell wants doctors protecting them? I want a dude from middle of bumfuck nowhere that is cornbread, fed well, lifts a lot, and moves fast. <laughs> Sounds like you're describing yourself, yeah. huh, Dalton. You don't really have to toot your own horn, bud. Anyway, yes, you know. anyway probably shouldn't do that on video either. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got it. Anyway, continue. If your ball's a tug, you tit fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got. I wasn't comparing myself, but thanks. You're welcome. I'm happy we could ruin it for you. Yes. So I I saw that, I don't know if Kevin Warren said it, Mm -hmm. if he came out and said it, but apparently the Big Ten is looking at four more Pac-12 teams. Mm. So what you're saying is the Big Ten is going to absorb the Pac-12? That's what it sounded like, at least. The Utes, baby! They were not one of them. 
What? They were not one of them. Oh, dude, they ain't going. They were not one of them. It's not happening. USC is not one either. Well, no, because yeah, they already the have Big them. Ten is probably going right. to would take Arizona oh, yeah, and Arizona yeah, State. Yeah. It is. It is not either of those two. He would have said it, and he would I be excited. Be Washington, Washington, they talked Washington, Washington, about Washington, Oregon, Washington, Stanford. I guess Washington State. No. Washington, Oregon, Colorado? Stanford, Colorado. No. Um. USC and UCLA are already there. California. Cal, Cal, Cal? Cal Berkeley. The fourth one. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Um, why am I drawing a blank on Because I'm thinking well, Cal Berkeley. Who's Washington it? State? We yeah, know Washington State. Cougs? No Cougs. Um, Boise State's in the mountain. Yeah, New Boise Mexico State's in the mountain. No, no New Mexico, Mexico State's, State's actually independent. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought they were in a New Mexico themselves. Is it is Cal. Okay. Cal Berkeley. It is Cal, Cal yeah. So then um, I have all three California. Another report came out uh, yesterday. No, sorry, two days ago. Yeah. Um, so we'll just have that entire West Coast. Well, I'll have all California. Into the Big Ten West. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's essentially what it's going to be. Yes. No, that's what it's going to be. Right. So a uh, report came out on Sports Illustrated two days ago. Okay. Uh, there are three other teams that the Big Ten could be looking at. Uh, Cal, could, Washington, uh, Oregon? Or Stanford? No, not, not, not Pac-12 teams. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So one of them is Notre Dame. Okay. The they, other they, two... They already said they're not going to do it. No, but nah, it's not, but they... But the other two would include Florida State and Miami. Interesting. Because, to... they, because the SEC said they are not looking at either one of them. To add them to the SEC. Now, I know Miami to didn't talk about going to Miami, SEC. Miami and Florida State? To the Big Ten. To the Big Ten. Yes. We're just going to have the Big Ten and the SEC in like three years. That's pretty much what it's going to be. You know, I think what they'll do is they'll rename the conference. Well, yeah. Because they, they're, like, they're doing super conferences, yeah. without a doubt. Because the, the Big Ten is no longer the Big Ten. It's been the Big 14 for how many years now? Well, now it's going to be since, since they added... Actually, since they added Nebraska. And actually, fun. Since they added Nebraska in 2012. Maryland, and then Maryland, Maryland and Rutgers was 2014. Yeah, added. Yeah. They've been the Big 14. Yep. Yeah. Now it's the and Big then, 16. Yeah. And it's and the Big 20. I feel like it's going to be 20. The SEC it's commissioner be, came out. Okay. So it would go to 24, yeah. I'd even say. It would be 22 if they get. I think they could split four conferences among the 20. Florida teams. State and Miami. Yeah. And then go north, south, east, west. And name it that way, maybe. I don't know. That's so. It'd be a, it would be eleven man. It'd be eleven. Eleven man. Shit. Eleven that, teams of sides. Teams. Yeah. Yes. How would you do scheduling? I would say that twenty fifth would be, be best. All conference. Here's, Here's the, the deal. There would be no more out of conference games. There would be no more out of conference games. Exactly. Twenty four in the Big no, Ten. One. They'd have to. No, that's shit. That's a bye week. Simmer down. So twenty four in the Big Ten. Yes. It would be twenty two. Get your math right. No. They need to go to 24. 20, yeah, I guess. So 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22 with 16. Six, 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 and six. Well, then they're going to keep looking for other teams. They're probably targeting to go to 24. Four divisions, six teams, you compete. Yep. That's what you compete. Shit, we're turning the mini NHL. That's what that... It's like NHL almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah. But think about it. That's what it's going to be. No, uh, so well, my thing is we've had this conversation. Oh, we still, yeah. oh, well, you know what that would bring though? What? If you do six money. That money. <laughs> it's money. 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 <laughs> Tell them to bring me my money. Bring, bring um me that me. would actually bring like a quarter semi final for yep. uh the Big Ten championship. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, because he could do quarter final, semi final championship. I, I don't know if I like that though. To be honest with you. I do. I don't. It's more games. You don't like it. Did you just say you don't like it because it's more football? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of more of a player's perspective and player's health. I'm not thinking about a fan. You just said you don't like. Oh, I did not say that. More football. <laughs> yes, you did. I, no, I, I. You said I don't like it because it's more games. You did for the. I, I did, and I, I didn't have a chance to elaborate. Look at you using more college yep. words. Proud of you. you quit. Watch your walk. <laughs> it's Friday night. You're not supposed to use college words. I only have two beers in my system. Well, stop. We'll get two more in. I don't know. <laughs> stop doing this college, so, college yeah. words. My, my thing is, is that yeah. I, I, I understand why they're doing it because it technically would get a college player 
prepped for the NFL. Okay. 17 games. If you think about it, you, you schedule 12, you do three. That's and if you make it all the way to the finals of the Big Ten, that's 16 games. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. then you can go have the opportunity of playing technically expansion by that point. There's another four. Mm-hmm. Dude, <laughs> that's that's a lot. Mm-hmm. I love it, but you're going to see a lot of injuries. I, that's what I don't like. Part of the game. Mm-hmm. I know it's a part of the game. Yeah. Again, it's getting ready, them ready for the NFL. Yeah. Playing almost 20 games to win a national title? Playing almost 20 games to win a Super Bowl. 21. Is it done to take 21 or 22? There's 20? 20. Let's see. There's 18 games or 17. Well, no, that's if you have, that's yeah, that's if you're that's if you're a one seed. If you're a one seed, you get that first round bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're a wild card team that plays from the, it's 20. Yeah. I'll be 21 now for wild card because of week 17, Man. week 18, How 17 games. That's, that's a lot of math on a Friday night. Night. Well, you can use the big words. You just leave the math for me. You were good at math. I was always good at math. You were always good at math. Yeah, I think you did my math homework a couple times. No, I, I barely <laughs> even did mine. You probably helped me on it. Probably did. I didn't probably, do it. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah, that's, anyway, that's the way she likes it. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so don't go about talking about you and me doing math the way to you saying that's the way she likes it. <laughs> I don't want to be dragged in that conversation. So anyway, move on. Getting back to technically back to the U with uh, Miami. They're getting rid of the turnover chain. Yes. yes. No. <laughs> Damn it! Don't do that. A- what? According to I mean, what's it started all this turnover bolt, the, the chains and all that. Stop yelling! <laughs> they they started it, this. Okay, but you know why they're getting rid of it? Yeah. No, because Mario Cristobal says it's not a part of their culture. This is an organ, Cristobal. <laughs> This is fucking South Florida. God damn it. <laughs> you heard it here live. Dalton hates himself. <laughs> yeah. So I want to point out something very impressive. I don't yes. know if the fans can see it. Probably not because the table's in the way. But Dalton, when he walked out, he took his hat off and threw it on the ground. Yeah. It landed on that little step up right there. <laughs> I don't think we can see it. I don't think we can see it. Probably not. Oh, that's perfect. It's unfortunate. Anyway, that's perfect. Here's the thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here's the thing. So we could clip it. With with, with them getting rid of the turnover chain, he said it's not a part of their culture. But did you see all these other teams that followed that? That's what I'm saying. Any, it's, it's, yes, they have the original. They have the turnover chain, not Mm -hmm. the turnover cane, not the turnover hat, whatever. Right. Turnover patterns. Yes, it's becoming too watered down anymore for it to really mean anything. But they had the original. Look, if James is okay with it, you shut your mouth. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Did Did you can't. shut yeah. your mouth. The Canes fan said it. Know your role and shut your mouth. <laughs> Man, if you didn't have peace... That shit mouth, just that makes me so good. damn mad, though. Yeah, I would have. Really because good. they started this before it became a big thing, like in the mid-2000s. And it blows up, and every team takes it. Hell, we had one. We had one at Northern. I was going to say, did Ohio State have one? <laughs> no, I don't think Ohio State had one. I was like, good. I'm not. I'm not think, we did. I, I, know, I know ONU had one, or they made one. I don't know if it was there when I played or when I coached. I can't remember. So. I know it's there now. CT kicking in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> here's, the, here's the sad thing. For Christmas, me, James, and uh, our buddy Pat, we bought each other gifts. Did you got? Did you guys buy each other gifts or experiences? Because I heard that's a big thing right now. Experiences. We bought each other gifts. Okay. I bought James. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the season they take it away. That previous Christmas, I bought James a replica turnover chain. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> and now it's gone. I am going to hurt you because all the yelling you did, I've got ringing in my ear. <laughs> You're gonna have to start wearing earplugs. This <laughs> you bought. <laughs> I'm 
That's so bad. <laughs> Why am I laughing? No, you asshole. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. His laughter is uh, it's contagious. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, asshole. <laughs> asshole. Take a breather. Yeah. Take a breather. Get the breath. Hey, you should have taken Kenny Pickett with him. So. Turn the light on so we can see him. Brown <laughs> corner. Brown <laughs> corner. There you go. <laughs> Just say what? It's on the it's on the wall. Yeah, around the corner, behind the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I was expecting him to say hi back. I was going to yell no talking in the penalty box. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Good his job. place. Thank yeah. you for listening to the rules. He knows his place. He's been there enough. He's yeah. been there. Yeah, he knows. So, speaking and continuing on the college football conversation, Man, Georgia, I, what? 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 I'm going to point out something we're doing. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. And it's what I'm doing is part of it. Yeah. We're, 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 this is the podcast. We're going this way. <laughs> we're going yeah. this way. I'm making it. Yeah, we're going. I'm making it. We're trying to find things to talk about. <laughs> no, plenty. It's just we find some side topics to talk yeah. about. Go over there. <laughs> Good over there, Squinty. He's doing that right in the camera. Good over there, Squinty. That's a uh, that's, that's a good one. That's gonna be that's gonna be a good cover photo. Yeah. So, anyway, George's Kirby Smart gets a ten year deal. Yep. One hundred twelve million. On the contract, making him the highest paid coach in CFB. Because he won one frickin' national championship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are they going to do here in five years if George is terrible? Uh, George is going to be terrible. Yep. We're going to fire him? But they're still going to say, oh, they're an SEC caliber team. They need to be in the playoffs. Bet two. <laughs> Bet two. Okay, Paul. Okay, did that almost too up. well. He did that almost too well. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Hey, turn that down. <laughs> Thank you. It's a family-friendly podcast. Bullshit. You're watching that. Bullshit. Anyway, Georgia. So I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. One championship. You get paid. Uno. Uno. One. We'll, we'll look at what happened with Mel Tucker. He yeah. ain't one shit and got eight years. Yeah. Hold on Doug a minute. Didn't come back. Don't hear what you got to say. That's good enough. That's good enough for them. They beat Big Brother. They're good. You can watch TikTok when you're in bed tonight. He ain't paying attention. We're going to leave a light on. So we'll be back. I'll probably have to send you in there in a minute. Probably. It's that. Oh, my God. You're like a fifth grader going into the gym. Yes. <laughs> right by the doorway, smacking the door, top of the doorway. You're like a fifth grader going into the gym. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. So Kirby Smart gets a uh, 12.5, uh, 112 mm-hmm. mil 10 year contract. 112.5. Good. 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 He got one championship. <laughs> Playoffs. Good. Playoffs. Good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good place for him. Okay. He built a lot. I get it, but still. There. It took him that long to make win a so, national cha- national title, yeah. That long so, to beat Nick Saban, too. So yeah. as Ransom was saying, let's say in five years he has, he doesn't get another championship. Okay. And he's not terrible. Yeah, and he's not in the top ten. Okay. You know what, let's say top twenty well, yeah, top ten might be better. I was gonna they say top be, twenty. They can be they can be eight and four. And I, I, don't, be I, I, I don't I don't mind hypotheticals, but I'm not gonna pull any hypotheticals on a team he's that's actually he's very good. Been pretty good. It's it's been pretty good. I don't think I've had a seen a season in the past five six years where Georgia hasn't been talked about. Yeah, hasn't been a contender in the SEC. Hasn't been a contender against Alabama or Auburn in some stages. I, I think you're wrong. I really do. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad deal because it, it, it could. Be and a- to be honest, I don't think that's a huge deal. It's ten years at one hundred and ten mil. I mean, Georgia wins the West. So we're right? looking at eleven million a year. That's 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 pretty good. Yeah, one hundred twelve point five. That's that's pretty good. Eleven and a half mil a year, probably. 
Yeah, that's one point two, and that ain't yeah, you know, that's not too. counting. Not counting win bonuses. Yeah. Playoff bonuses. Okay. Bowl game bonuses. Okay. Recruiting bonuses. Mm-hmm. It's not counting that. So eleven mil. That that's the standard for coaches now. I will say, and I, and and you guys are missing. Yeah. Urban Meyer had almost a similar deal. Okay. Yeah, I think he was making twelve and a half mil a year on his last contract. But he didn't have that long of a contract, did he? No. No. Yeah. No, but you see where that they they play the numbers. To, yeah. It's fine. He's fine. Anyways, I'm sorry. Saying, you were saying. I will say this. It's a great deal for both of them, especially if they do continue the trend that they have in the past five, ten years. Right. Because that's how you build a dynasty. Yep. Georgia football has been built around Kirby Smart. Okay. Yes. Nobody, nobody that listens to this podcast, nobody in this room can argue that. Yeah. My buddy Jonesy right now in Georgia is screaming, hell yeah, brother, because I just said that. I already know that right now. Your phone's probably blowing up yeah. in the comments. Go check real quick. <laughs> because Tim. go dogs. That's all I got to say is go dogs. I want Georgia to be the staple of the SEC. I love it. I don't want Nick Saban to be on top anymore. No. Did Nobody you does. See, did you we'll see Nick? My ball. But no. anyway. That's because he rides him so hard. But anyway. <laughs> that bald. We'll see that. That, um, that bald head. Good <laughs> picture. And canceled. I like, I like to call him Dumbo because of them big ass ears of his. Oh, I always what if he did. gets XM with those. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did you see you guys see that uh, Nick Saban actually considered going to broadcasting in 2014? He talked yeah, about no, it. Uh, I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to retire then because that was when the CFP was starting their changes. Yep, and he and wasn't he liking wasn't it. Liking it. He fun. also doesn't like it. Sh- sh- <laughs> yeah. Because I think we would have been seeing more teams in the CFP other than Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Clemson, Clemson Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, Michigan State. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Washington. 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 <laughs> Washington. God. Oklahoma. Oregon. Oh, Oregon the Nick first Saban's year making it. I'm coach. happy for though. Nick Saban is a great coach. Don't get me wrong. Best college coach ever. Right behind Bear Bryant. No, I think he's better. No, he's not better than Bear he's Bryant. Better. I love Bear, but I, I think Saban no, has no. Actually, one person hit, uh, he'll never be better than and is the staple of all is Vince Lombardi. I meant just college. Well, Vince Lombardi started as a college coach. Everybody starts there. Right, but did he do much as a college coach? I'm pretty sure he had an extensive career. What is he known I for, though? Remember. He's known for the NFL. Thank you. But and the Packers. Either way. Moving coaches on. in general. Moving on. <sighs> Bad comparison. That's a, that, that's, a, that, that's a topic. That's a topic we need to that will be think a, about for next week. Get special. I think just like a one-off bit. Or, yeah, one-off bit. We'll run it. Just run it. Something well, I'd say let's do it next week. But no, oh, we I actually have to put some brain pain to this. Yes. That's who, okay, all of us are. Who is the greatest all time coach out of any sport? Our, uh, um that's broad. <laughs> mm. That's that's broad. Okay, I I think you just bitches. Okay, that's not homework. <laughs> that's a project. Dude, that yeah, is not yeah. like I'm coming in with the ten the uh, Ten slide PowerPoint. No, 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 no. This isn't ten slide PowerPoint. I'm walking in with one of them chuck boards that flips. That's got a push pin board on the back, and I got <laughs> string theory going on here. I'll be like, so yep. this, 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 and this. So here's how this goes. And you're this guy, this guy, this guy. You're talking about suits and ties and flip boards. I'm ready for. I'm ready like, for fantasy. I'm, I'm like one of those guys <laughs> where, when someone asks me a question like that, I try to run all the scenarios. And my brain is starting to fizz already because I've already ran like six great coaches, but there's I've run 12. There's like no comparison, but there is a comparison and it's hard to compare other sports. And it's yeah. It, okay. Yeah. Homework, yeah. Be on the lookout for that next week. Yeah. Amira. And all of us are going to have a headache. <laughs> I already do. <laughs> Someone bring the beer and the Tylenol. <laughs> And take them both at the same time, Mike. No. Recommends. <laughs> no. For the love of God, please do not do that. Don't Disclaimer. Me. This is a joke. We are live. We are recording. <laughs> a family friendly podcast. Bullshit. 
But still, no. It, it, it's a joke. There are people like me who will take you seriously. <laughs> it's a joke. Funny. Hey, man. Hey, man. That guy on the damn Facebook said that. That I had to take uh, did, did the Mountain Dew and the Bush Light and the Tylenol at the same damn time. Dog, you didn't have to target yourself like that. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Thank you. That was great. Got him. <laughs> hey, Mike was right. He'll be going back one more. I told you he was going back. Might as well have left the light on. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. It's like Motel 6 in there. <laughs> Motel 8, I think. Super 8. Super 8. Super 8, whichever That's one. They always got a lot of I think they, they are gone. Yeah, Super 8's long gone. They, their lights are still on. <laughs> I believe it. They're long gone, but the lights are on. <laughs> they leave a light on for you, don't. I was say. <laughs> but, anyway. Uh, I, I have some, some spicy. Spicy? Spicy college news. Oh. About recruiting. <laughs> recruits. <laughs> you say spicy? I have some spicy college recruiting notes. Yes. On who? Arch Manning. Ooh. You may have seen this. You may not have. No. He's no, committing no. to your Arizona State. No, no. He's committed to Texas. I know. But. Where's the Allegedly. Work? Oh, thank you. Allegedly. He, in the ESPN, top 300, 100, whatever, he is no longer number one. I think I remember hearing I about that. I bet it's because he committed to the Horns. Don, Don. Don. He did. They're not going to the one, by the way. David. I don't know. It, 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 I, I just wrote a report saying that he fell from number one to number two. I can't remember who took the number, number one from him. The kid who is committed to USC. Quarterback. Can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, it was quarterback? I believe it's quarterback, yes. Hmm. Yeah, that kid from USC, because he had a camp or something, and he was looking... More spectacular, and he knocked Art Manny out. Hmm. You look that up. I am. in the Thanks, process. Man. Data guy. Do stuff. Malachi Nelson. Malachi Nelson. Quarterback Malachi Nelson uh, takes over Arch Manning for the number one ranking in the 2023 ESPN 300 based off his increased arm velocity and leadership skills. So it has nothing to do with Texas. No. Might be fun to say. No, it's still fun to Texas. say it. That's something yeah. to do with Texas. Yeah, Arch Manning. It technically does. Well, yeah, he's going to say? play for Steve Sarkeesian. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't understand that. Bust. Anyway, nope. you said Nelson committed to USC. USC. Okay, Nelson so long to USC. Commit. Okay. I, I still haven't seen paperwork on Arch. Nobody You're has. waiting. I haven't seen paperwork on Dylan Royola, but you know what? I'm happy he's committed to Ohio State. Uh, he's full throttle. I think he... Did, the paperwork and stuff you, didn't, but I think Dylan was saying it. Then he just didn't, didn't feel it. Didn't because everybody else stuff. is making the arch. Well, it's, it's not been a big deal lately, but everybody else is making the arch manning thing a huge deal. Yeah. I was just waiting to see where he went. Congratulations. Here you go. You went in. Right. And now it's congratulations. Here you go. I hope you don't suck. <laughs> yeah. But you will with Steve Sarkeesian. Yes. Yeah, no, no, you will. It's a yeah. rough day. Have fun losing to Kansas and going. No, nah, Kansas doesn't beat anybody. Mm. Uh, actually, they, Kansas won a game last season, didn't they? They beat Texas last year. Yeah. 57-56. <laughs> I was watching the end of that game, and I'm like, I about thank that. you. I didn't, because I had Texas winning that game. I'd say, you know, a rough, rough day for you, don't know. <laughs> rough day. Sorry, I repressed my words. I with 97% yeah. of everybody that said Texas was going to win. Yeah, everybody, everybody, like everybody except Bill Sandy and the Kansas basketball of team. America had Texas winning that game. Yeah, Don, Don, Don. Don. Oh Don. man, so, I'm so wild. This a while you're welcome because we were talking about the Texas schedule, and someone within the podcast, within our fan group, said, that, "Yeah, Texas is going to be 11 and one," and I don't see it. Clay, Don, David. Was it David? I thought it was Clay. Yep. No, actually, we said it on the live. Yeah, that was went. Mm. That was on the live Wednesday. Oh, was, I think Clay likes Texas quite a bit too. Well, yeah, and, that's because the they're going to be. He's he's a Sarkeesian follower. Sarkeesian sucks. Oh, he does. Anyway, let's not jump on the Sarkeesian wagon. Yeah, Never. no, let's. 
We can do that. Oh, because we'll be talking about it for three more hours. Yeah, we could do that in our college preview. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. College preview. In college preview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Anyways. What we got next? Want to know what I haven't been laughing about? Hmm. The Guardians. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat a mayo, eat mayo brat. <laughs> yeah, bud. And buy a uh, Wild Thing jersey. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, go in, split the series with the Red Sox. Hmm. Uh, Lose the last two with the White Sox. And uh, are live right now with the Rays. And I don't know what that score is. Well, I thought it was 1-1. One, one. <laughs> you did you so? <laughs> you got over there? Nope. No, I didn't. Hey, All we're right. at 4-1, bottom of the seventh. Shane Bieber's still on the mound. Go front. Oh, my God. What? Oh, him? That thing that who was it? Was it Sherm that put that, or was oh, uh, well, the trade proposition? Uh, talk oh, rumors of trade yes. of Beaver. I, yeah, saw, I that. saw that. And I'm like, are you kidding me? The only, the only, the anyway, the only, the only, the only, the only, the only person that should be traded that should be in the Shane Bieber trade. Yeah, is a one Mr. Juan Soto. Yeah. Make that two people. Make that a Mr. Juan Soto or a Mr. Mr. Shohei Otani. Yeah. Anybody else Shohei, can suck can do, my toes. We can make something happen with Juan Soto, but if we're going to trade our ace pitcher of Shane Bieber, we better get somebody like Shohei Otani. What? That's where I'm at. Hey, no. he hangs up to bat. Anyway. Well, no, just... I do have... Look, Juan Soto is ace. a great ball player. The, go ahead. But no. The only thing... I can give credit to the Dolans for. Mm-hmm. I hate the fact that it always happens because it happened with with um, CC. Mm-hmm. It happened with what CC did. It after he, yeah. he, he did get better. Yeah, but we go ahead with Kluber. Stop with Kipnis. Oh, stop! And here, as of late, with Frankie. Oh man, yeah, Frankie. They get rid of players mm-hmm. when it seems like the absolute worst time to. Yeah. And those players go off somewhere else outside of CC Sabathia. And uh, Kluber. Yeah, Kluber had a down year when he left Cleveland. No, that's what I'm saying. As opposed to what they did in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, Kluber isn't doing all that great. Yeah. Nope. He's doing decent. He's doing all right. Frankie's not doing all that great. No. Mm, nope. Kipnis isn't even in the league right now. Yeah. Nope. Um, let's see who else. Andrew Miller didn't do much after. Yeah. Because nope. he got hurt quite a bit. Right. Yeah. Bauer's banned for two years. Brantley. Brantley's doing pretty well. Yeah, Brantley, I think, is the only one. Brantley has the... uh, the, He plays for cheaters, though. The the trash... um, The trash ring. The trash trash ring. Yes. Um, Oh, it's a ring now. Okay. Oh, because they won the ring. They won the ring. I I know. Who's going to say? Call it. Speaking of, we might see Corey Kluber on the mound this weekend because he plays for Tampa Bay. I wouldn't be surprised. When did he stop playing for the Yankees? (laughs) Just this year. And they didn't want to pay him. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's it. I didn't realize that. Um, what do you mean? The Yankees got money for everybody. Big, big he wasn't pond. doing what they wanted. Right. Hey, speaking of, pond, Cooper's in the sound of our against Zach Fleezak. Anyways, interest. Can we get rid of him? Please, we actually talked about it. Fleezak was going to get featured in the Juan Soto deal. Well, that was one I saw on Twitter. I'm fine with that one, though, even though we're going to get rid of him. Uh, to be honest with you, hold on. I do want to talk about that trade deal that y'all were talking about. No Naylor brother is leaving the organization unless the other one goes with him. They said yep. it when they started the season. They started. They said it when they started getting hot. They said it all for the last two seasons. They are not splitting up. They have a solid relationship as brothers. They are not. And we are literally the Cleveland Nailers. Did the Dolan say that? Or did the Naylor brother say that? The Naylor brothers said that. I don't have a choice in that matter. Uh, oh, Dolan mentioned, I, mentioned if, it if the Dolan, I think Terry, Terry Tito, I think, mentioned it one time, too. Okay, again, Tito has no say in that. This is true as well. If uh, the Dolans... So, say, I don't think they're going to get rid of either. If the, the Dolans want to go and say, hey, we want Soto. Uh, Washington, what do you want? Well, we want Bo Naylor. Okay. I don't think it happens. I do. I don't. Alex Call got the call. I do not think up? it happens. He's the next matter up. It could. Unless the Dolans unless okay. the Dolans are in agreement with everyone else. Can we just get Yeah. What what why? Why? Yeah, why do we want Juan Soto that bad? Because he's good. He's he young. Good. He's a young well, why power do we hitter. Have to give up that much. 
for one guy. Because he's good. We uh-huh. also have a really good farm system. Yes. You know, if you've, I don't know oh, I know we do. Gay. Oh, I know we do. Stolen Jones. But look look at what happens Stephen if Kwan. Minnesota comes in and actually does well and then has that oopsie down year. What do the Dolans do? You're gone. Yeah. Then he goes off to another team and does better. That would be the shit thing. We get him, and then he has a bad year Look or two, and then they trade him out for Cleveland nothing. Cleveland sports. May see it with Carolina Panthers quarterback. Okay, I'm. I, I I'm not. I'm not putting it down. Okay. I said I, I was kind of lost on where you're going with that, but then you said Carolina Panthers. Okay. Yep. I got you. I'm, I'm still kind of lost, but it, uh, keep going. It's the Cleveland way to trade someone away yep. when they're not doing well, and then the they Cle- go out and do. It's the really Cleveland, the Cleveland effect. effect. It's the Cleveland effect. Yeah. yeah. It's it's. I think it's a staple thing now on Urban Dictionary too. No. It's, okay. So we talked about that a couple weeks ago on the Wednesday Night Life. I looked it up. It is not. Oh, it's not. No. To be in the Urban Dictionary, one of the definitions. Because I can't, I can't say the other because they're inappropriate. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be a <laughs> to be a Cleveland Browner is to be a failure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry to the two of you who are Browns fans in here, and anybody else that's a Browns fan. It's on a rough live. day. I don't say that. That's an Urban Dictionary. I'm just quoting it. Hello, darkness, my friend. <laughs> Okay. You again. Yeah. Trademark. <laughs> yeah. And we're done. And we're canceled. Copyright. Canceled. I don't know. It just seems like I'm going to be eating a brat with mayo on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. Right. Yeah. Juan Soto also won the home run derby. Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and Julio Rodriguez knocked out the back to back champ, Pete Alonso. Yeah, he did. That was a good, it was a good all-star break, let me tell you. I enjoyed it. And Schwarber zeefed around and lost. Oh, my God. Not going to lie, I actually was hoping Pujols did pull off the upset. That was one thing they talked about, because I was, I was in um, Dublin. Mm-hmm. Or no, I was driving back from Delaware at that point, listening to it. And they were talking. One of the points they brought up was, does Albert Pujols have enough in the tank? to take down the number one in Kyle Schwarber. Yep. Sure enough, he did. Yeah. I think Albert Pujols would be Aaron Judge if Aaron Judge was in the home run derby. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> Does anybody ever notice that Aaron Judge still looks like he has all of his baby teeth? <laughs> yes. No? I know Why you say something so bold, yet yeah, controversial? I didn't yes. think about that. David's not here to defend him. I don't care. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm sitting down, too. So, not, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. seated. I was seated the entire time during the All-Star break when they interviewed him. In fact, yes, they did both Aaron Judge and Gene Carlos Stanton. I'm not saying that. And Aaron Judge couldn't talk. Apparently, his microphone broke, which I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to hear him talk anyway. Nope. Damn you. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, well, 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 um, well, sir, great question. <laughs> well, we can recap the All-Star game while you're we're still talking about it. I only caught the home run derby. I don't watch anything. Yeah. I, 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 I failed. failed. I failed yeah, as, like a, a, uh, as a sports I was, I was driving back um, from Dublin and then Delaware. I failed as a sports guy. I, I, I listened to Jose Ramirez at bat and the home run derby, and that turned it off. Nice, nice. I got the notifications as I went. Because yeah. I unfortunately, well, Chairman and I were at a concert, but I was getting the alerts and filling them in. But Jeremy unfortunately did lose to Juan Soto in the first round, mm-hmm. but Juan made it to the championship. Pete Alonso beat out Ronald Acuna, but lost to rookie Seattle's rookie sensation Julio J. Rod Rodriguez, which the home run derby championship was between Juan Soto and Julio Rodriguez, and Juan Soto won the home run derby. Mm-hmm. All Star Game, the American League won again. Yes, it led to a comeback in I believe the top of the fifth inning. Was spark National League was actually up one nothing, and then it was uh, Giancarlo Stanton home run with Jose Ramirez walked and he was on base. The so Jose Ramirez did score a run with the uh, Giancarlo Stanton home run, and then the dagger was right behind with Minnesota Twins outfielder Byron Buxton. He hit home run right behind. 
I believe it was. I'll pull the score up real quick while I'm on here. Look at this man and his just memory. He's. I'm. I'm if you can see him, he's staring off right. in this two. space, and he's just rattling this shit off. And I'm just Unit. enjoying yeah. listening. Unit three to two, American League. Mookie Betts single to center on the Cunha scored, and then Goldschmidt hit a home run in the bottom of the first to get the him. National League on. Yeah, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Him. It's okay. As soon as they scored in the first inning, fourth inning, they just went away with it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And, hey, guess what? Aaron Judge went over two because he struck out twice and I laughed both times. I'm like, hey, guess what? What? You're an all star. (laughs) Go home. (laughs) Vladdy. Vladdy Jr. also went over two. That was sad. Mm -hmm. Jose, though. Jose Ramirez went two for two because he had a single, two singles. Hmm. All right, so I got to ask you guys, what yeah. do you got? And Class A got the save too. He did. He did. And Jim Collar Stanton got the All Star MVP. Mm-hmm. That's so the All Star game. So when you see something like that for the uh, home run derby, mm-hmm. um, Jose Ramirez losing the first round to the eventual winner, it sucks to see him lose. But does it make you feel any better to know that in a situation like that, with any sport and any game, whatever? Uh, to know that you lost in the tournament to the eventual winner, because I'll t- I'll tell you I'll t- I'll tell you I'll mm-hmm. give you an example. Uh, last postseason NFL this past postseason, the Cardinals lost to the Rams in the wild card round, but the Rams w- ended up winning the Super Bowl. Makes me feel a little bit better about it that we lost to the eventual winner. Right, but I'm still I'm- mad. I'm still upset that we lost. Right, well, but especially in the it style, doesn't, it doesn't make it as bad. Right. Because it's not like, hey, they they beat us and then they lost in the second round. No, they went on and won the Super Bowl. Right. right. Well, I was going to say, within Juan Soto and J-Ram, when I was previewing and listening to everything about the home run derby matchups and everything, and I know Bike and I talked about it, because we actually did drop a baseball special with, yes. for the All-Star, which was episode 87, I believe. Top her off. There's a lot of alcohol taste that I'm getting to the bottom of it. <laughs> More Mountain Dew. There you go. That's why I brought second kit. Anyways, when I was previewing the matchups, I looked at Juan Soto and J Ram. And of course, my bias, Jose Ramirez, I was kind of hoping he make it to the championship, well, which yeah. I had him going to the championship. You, you'd hope he wins. Oh, 100%. But looking at that, and I'm like, that's going to be the. I had that circled as the matchup I wanted to watch because I figured both of them were actually going to be neck and neck. Mm-hmm. Like, it probably would have went into ec- extra time because both of them nailed dingers like nothing. Yeah. yeah. But, of course, you want everybody to hit great dingers. Oh, well, I want to see Pete Alonso's batty it. pitcher That's pitch because he nailed it That's in what, the middle every time. That's what baseball's turning into. I mean, baseball's turning into such a high-scoring game for no reason. I don't remember who it was. Uh, like, 28-5 to five, Toronto over Boston earlier this week? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't care. Toronto got the win. I don't remember who it was. In a grand inside the park grand slam. Anyways, but it was a former pitcher, the Hall, Hall of Fame or legendary pitcher. I can't remember who it was. Mm-hmm. They were talking about the hot or the low number of like on base percentage, or the lowest because it's like because or it's maybe the average, the lowest average we've yeah, seen. Average. Mm-hmm. The lowest average we've seen in years. Mm-hmm. He said it's not because of the higher uh, spin rate of the ball, the, the how fast it's on the ball, because guys are going up there and they're swinging the bat for the fences mm-hmm. on every swing. If they get a piece of it, if they're go- even if they're going for like a contact hit for like a base hit, they get a piece of it. They realize, oh hey, I'm just going to swing for the fences now. Yep. It's not because of the higher spin count on the ball. Mm-hmm. It's not because they're th- throwing the ball a little bit harder. It's the fact that these guys are swinging for the fences on every single pitch. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as he said no, that, I, I thought of my yeah. favorite little league tournament moment. The strategy of hitting has gone away. Is really mm-hmm. trying it's, to it's becoming what the NBA is in the three point. <laughs> the, that the, is the a era, great comparison. The, uh, the era of the dominant big man is gone. Logo, yeah. You can name three, maybe four dominant big men in the NBA right now to where back in the day, back in the 80s and 90s, you, you could name, name a, big men. You could name out of all the teams. At least, at least every team had one strong big man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we're looking at guys who you can, again, name three or four big men in the NBA. 
we're looking at guys in the MLB who are just hitting dingers. You can look at first five and not even blank that why they have a high 200 average yeah. because of their swinging for the fences. There, it's a strategy. Some teams still, you, you can still see the strategy in some teams. Sure. Like, like Cleveland still does it for yeah. strategy. Well, they have mm-hmm. to because they're young. Right. But these, these bigger teams, New York, Boston, they, their first five, they're all pushing mid to high twos. Mm-hmm. And, and they're all in, on base. And, and, say, and they're all with 15 plus home runs on the season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, if you're calling the station, quit. That phone's rang <laughs> three times about, since I've been here at 730. All this baseball talk. <laughs> if you got a question, comment. Don't call. <laughs> wow. If you're listening to this later and you're the old person trying to get a hold of whoever's on AM right now, no one cares. It's uh, the Indians right now on AM. Yeah, or the Guardians, Indians. sorry. Uh, don't Tribe. cancel me. Tribe. Cleveland Baseball Club. Tribe. Team Raymond Acton. I'm getting a headache I'm yelling at old tribe. people. Old tribe. Anyway, <laughs> stop yelling at old people. I have a headache. <sighs> what else do we have on, on I, Do we have is, anything for the NHL or no, Chris? Uh, no, nothing's happening. Free agents are really done. It's free Besides, Columbus picked up some great players. Well, they're in the season. You know. Yeah, in the season's close to Columbus for a cup. Columbus for the cut. Two years. Not this year. That's going to be happening soon, though. We'll make Two a playoff years. run. I'm sticking true to that. I want to talk to you real quick, because I know he might. I know he's not going to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Suck the crew. Go on, Bess. That's what I thought. Sitting here with your... Oh, I'll, I'll play your reindeer games. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull on my crew. Let's pull. What do you think of Cucho? I'm all right with him. He's... I'm loving it. Park. I'm loving it. So, both Cucho and even with him, it's adding help and spark with Lucas Zellerai on. He looks so much better. I didn't think he'd look any better, but he does. He's setting up I, Cucho perfectly oh, everywhere 100%. he goes. And Cucho, well, he went on that absolute tear right when he got brought in. He had three goals in four games. An yeah. absolute tear. Yeah. <laughs> There, well, and then he had that header, remember? Oh, yeah, the header one of, against yeah. uh, D.C. United, mm-hmm. which we technically should have won that game. Yeah, that was DC bullshit. Got the goal, that was BS. They were pushing on that. Anyway. Um, Speaking of, against they played Cincinnati, because the hell is real match, as they call it, because the it's the real right game. down Interstate 71. Both Lucas Zellerion and Kutcho Hunter and has got a goal. They won on my birthday. That's what mattered. There you go. They played. And they, they they played this past Saturday. They played. Yeah. They played a they tied, game. Yeah, they tied New England zero to zero last Saturday. Tomorrow night they play at seven o'clock. They play at Charlotte. Actually, they got this game. I believe it's at Charlotte. So it's at Bay yes, Bay. because Charlotte came because I went yep. to that game. I went to the, yeah. the Charlotte and so that which I'm kind of ecstatic to hear. Bank of America is where they're home. I, I can't remember Charlotte who it FC team. I can't remember who it was. But Cucho set, I want to say it was Louis Diaz, set him up perfectly. I think it was Louis. Louis Diaz. All he had to do was just kind of flick the ball in the goal, make sure you can get past the goalie. Yep. But he went to, to, to corral it, hopped up over his foot, and then he went to kick it in, and got, he got stolen. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, all you got to do is just mm-hmm. end the goal, or the best right. effort you can, but no, you try to corral it. I love Louis Diaz. He's so freaking fast. Yeah. He could beat He's Tyreek Hill in the foot race. They he actually did his fast. time for a 40. It's insane. He, I think he is He's super tight with Tyreek Hill. Anyway, Dalton's back. That's all. I, I just want to back. Talk. I yeah, just no, wanted, good. I want to talk about you. I had to I was gonna, my nose. Well, I think, for I a think second. we're about ready to wrap this up, but was, you know what we got to finish out the night with. Unless, Chris, you got something. I was just going to say, right now, within the standings, we're sixth in the Eastern Conference. Yep. So we're I, making I, that I, push. I, one. I remembered that the the one segment I wanted to start, and I think we could kick it off this week. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. I've got It's study. called the Fan Draft Board. We take our top three, okay. quote-unquote, recruits. Yeah. Of different things, fast food chains, pizzas, anything. We claim it as ours. Top three. Number one being the all-time your favorite. Like fast food item? 
No, oh. like fast food chains, burgers, okay, so anything. So this week, let's kick it off. Let's just make it easy. Let's go fast food chains. Okay. All right. Now, three fast food chains. Gotcha. So like we're talking like McDonald's, all that stuff. Done. So yeah. So okay. run both. We'll we'll done. Uh, okay. Run. Go it. ahead. Run it. Done. E first. Number one is Taco Bell. Starting off with number one. Okay. Starting off number one is Taco Bell. Number two is a something. Number two and three actually ones we don't have here in Ohio, and it makes me sad. Yeah. Number two is Whataburger. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. If you ever had Whataburger, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't like it, I don't like you. I never had it, but I heard about it. How it good it was. Very good. If you don't Where's like the closest it, one to like you. That needs to be on a shirt somewhere. Oh, Clip it. in the works. Clip it. Yes. Number three. Hold on. For your, mm, back to your num- I hate okay. to interrupt, but back to your number two. Yeah. Where's the cl- closest location to try it? So uh, I, people believe, are- I believe South okay. Carolina okay. is the closest. I had when I went to I had Whataburger when I went to Florida uh, in September last year. Okay, so uh, number three again, not in Ohio. It makes me sad. Jack in the Box. That's West Coast, dude. Jack in the Box. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I heard Jack in the know. Box was a good coworker of mine. I was actually talking to me. Know. I don't know about that list. Okay. That list. So don't run it, Mister. I uh, have you had Whataburger or Jack in the Box? No, that's why. That's what I thought. <laughs> I have. I no, 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 I'll let someone else go first. I, w- I want. I'm drawing the blank. I'm still working on mine. <sighs> Y'all aren't fat like me. Good Fine. lord. Fine. <laughs> I, will, I will give you my list. So, number one. Gosh. Okay. So, number one, right now, like, I. You don't have to start with number one, too. Okay. So, I'm starting with number three, then. I'm going to start with number like I, I, I need to start with number one because I work my way down. Yeah. Yep. Uh, All right. Fair yep. enough. God, I can't think. I'm going to say number one's probably Wendy's for me. I thoroughly enjoy their burgers. What? Strong. Strong? That's, that's, that's a strong number one. I thoroughly enjoy a burger from Wendy's. Like, it, I could be anywhere in the United States, and I'd be like, okay, I can go to Wendy's right now and get a burger. I'm down. In my opinion, Wendy's best burger is the breakfast Baconator. Uh, their best burger not is not a regular a bacon, uh, Baconator, and it's... it's that's a, a sausage patty. That's not a burger. Still a burger. It's not... Okay. Anyways. Well, Mr. Two out of three, you can't even get within 100 miles of here. Simmer down. <laughs> Actually, Jack in the Box is not that far. I think okay. The closest one is like St. Louis, isn't it? No. Number two. Oh, look. Number two. Um, I thoroughly, and I mean thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I did today. Love Skyline. No, Skyline stands for Skyline. Skyline. I love it, man. Sucks. Cincinnati loves oh. Skyline, chill. Oh. Two cheese conies, two Cholitos, add spaghetti and onion. Oh my god. Slapped. What's up? There's a Jack in the Box in Butler County. Told you. I didn't think it was in Ohio. Yeah. Okay, so it's <laughs> within, <laughs> Okay, so it's not within eighty miles. I think Butler's eighty from us, right? Uh it's a full up hundred and nine miles. Hundred and nine. Okay. So I did I was right with hundred miles. Two hours, yeah. twelve minutes. Okay, so hundred miles. <laughs> Damn, that was a really good guess by me. Go eat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. I'm not really going tomorrow. <laughs> What's the cats? Eh, Find something to make it for the draft. Anyway, I'm saying number three is Chipotle. Is what? Chipotle fast food? Yes. Yeah, because I can walk in and walk out with it within three minutes. Okay, with DoorDash, I can understand, and that shit now. Or, mm-hmm. no, DoorDash? No, I can walk into Chipotle right now. See, well, not right uh, now, because it's Chipotle o'clock. delivery. I, I my, I, my thought with fast food I, is I it know. has to have I, I think it has, a, it has to have a drive-thru. Thank you. It I know. Is. That, that's my thought. No, 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 it is. No, you're right. It has to have a drive-thru. It's a fast food chain. Yes, but there are a few Chipotle restaurants that have a drive-thru. Ours, ours doesn't. I think Delaware might have one. I'm not too sure. I don't know about that. Who gives a shit about Delaware? De- people that live in Delaware. People that live and work in Delaware. Or someone. I don't care. I'm putting it on my list. And if you want to challenge it, you can change my list for me. You put number three down, man. You can make nope. the call. Oh, no. No. You make the call, Mister. It's mine. I'll take it. Chipotle is number three. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can get my order tattooed on my back, and I bet it would not change. It's bullet. Sneaking there in your sleep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Extra right. cheese. If I can't see the cheese, it, there ain't any on. There ain't enough. Che- yeah, there ain't. Enough if cheese. I can see the bowl, and I only and I don't see just cheese at the top, 
It ain't the right Let, one. Let's not talk about your Olive Garden Yeah, Olive Al- Al- oh, Cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> select, <laughs> future, select few Chipotle's have drive throughs Yep, so it's fast food. Sit okay. down. I'll, okay, I shut accept, up. I'm, I'm sitting down. I accept it. And shut up. <laughs> oh, Aaron Judge just left the bat. Oh, sorry. Anyway. All right. Well, number one for me is going to be Wendy's burgers, even their chicken nuggets and frosting. You can't just beat it. Simmer down there. Okay. Keeping your pants so, over there. So I have Wendy's one. Number two for me. And it sucks. Well, it does suck, but it doesn't because I can make it work. Because I can at least do a six of the seven days of the week. But as odd as it sounds, I'll probably put at number two, I'll do Chick fil A. Why would that sound odd? Because they close on Sundays. I don't know. So? Anyway, number three. <laughs> but you ain't even one to Marion. That's why it's odd. There's none to Marion, and there's always discussion they're supposed to have one. And number three. We don't have a skyline in Marion. You know, because Skyline is trash. I'm not solid. Limited. Yeah, but it's not limited to where. Skyline is trash. Who puts chocolate in the chili? Apparently, people ask Skyline. Chili. No, it's not. It's cinnamon, not chocolate. No, it's chocolate. It's probably <sighs> both then. I think uh, it's cinnamon and chocolate. I think okay. it's, I'm pretty sure it's chocolate. It anyway. Is. I'll double check. Either way, it's trash. Anyway, Chris, number three. Only Ohio people know about that it's conversation. Chris's floor. Let him have it. That's why I said, okay, Chris, go ahead. I'm number still three. thinking on three. We should have taken a break. <laughs> yeah, we really should have. Yeah, I'm you know what? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll take a break before the AFB AFU. Yeah, because I don't, why? I don't know. My, no, we'll just roll it. All right, oh yeah. my god! All right, fine. Mm, I, I don't lost the shit. I don't, I, I'm done. I don't have to look anymore or think about it. I can look. There you go. Continuum. Screw it. Uh, number three. Screw it. I'll do it. Burger King. Ew! Oh, I don't know man. why. They're chicken fries. That's it. Uh, they, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's all I get. Burger King's their chicken fries. Not rallies. Actually, let me rephrase. No, number three is rallies. Like I, I feel like every time that we go to I fast food, food, you're like rallies. <laughs> I drew a. Bl- That's why I sat there. I drew a blank. But no, mm-hmm. actually, retract my retract of a retract of retractment. My number three is rallies. It's a lot of retracting right there. It is. I've been around Dave too long. Okay, so number one Wendy's. Number, number two Chick Fil A. Number two Chick Fil A. Number three rallies. Okay, Dalton, what's your three? Mr. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have the best right. list of them all. All right, so I don't have the best list. This is no, just my no, I do. No, this is just my list. Number three has got to be McDonald's. Okay. Number three is just an OG. Old reliable. It's, it's old reliable. Old reliable. Okay. It's that one that you can just fall to. Crack open the briefcase. On a, on a drunken yes. night. It, when you just don't want Taco Bell. Holiday pies, holiday pies buddy. my boy. Holiday pies. Holiday oh, my pies. God. That's like crack. Holiday pies, my boy. <laughs> no, crack does not even compete. All, All right. right. Crack doesn't All compete. Right. Number two. <laughs> I think about holiday pies daily. Right. Number two <laughs> has got to be Sonic for me. Really? Yeah. Number oh, two. Is what is it? What 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 about it? I like their breakfast and I like their burgers. The breakfast is pretty good. The breakfast burritos and their burgers is is what gets me. And man, I'm telling you right now, if there's any place that has tater tots and I can get tater tots, I will get tater tots instead of fries, hands down. No, I, I'll give hands respect. Down. Sonic has great tater tots. That, Burger King though. actually has really good breakfast. Yeah, they're tired. Well, I just tried it. It's mediocre. You Maybe. haven't had their breakfast burritos. I did. I, I got their junior one because that's the only thing they had. I'm yeah. boycotting Burger King breakfast until Marion gets their enormous burritos back. Oh, oh really, I miss that. Really, any surrounding and Burger King. You guys need to stop because I went there hoping to see that and it wasn't there. The closest one is like 25 miles. So, like Delaware or Columbus? I don't remember where exactly. Delaware, I think, would be 25 miles. Yeah. I don't believe you know where it's at, but it's like 25 miles from my house. I get you. And number one, this is going to catch some people off guard. It's, it's not from around here, but number one for me, just because of the prices, cookout. I knew you were going to say that when you said I prices. Do, yeah. Number one is cookout. You can get a, like two platters, slam full of burgers, chicken tenders, cheese curds, corn dogs, anything you want in a large sweet tea. You want to talk about the ultimate... Stop. Sweet tea's disgusting. You want to talk about the ultimate drunk spot. I mean, I was trying to get to this place when I was in Myrtle, and there was a line out to King's Ave, which is like their main drag. That's how popular this place is at late night. 
Oh, it so, is. Because we, I know when I those are my top tried. three. Because I've never had Whataburger. I've never had In and Out. I've never had uh, Smash, what good is it? Smash, Burger. Smash Burger. Smash Burger. It was I. Uh, they're Burger. gone. Shake Shack. Uh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack's Shack. over in Shack. Shack's good. I, read it. So, they, I heard it's good. I'm just going on bad. comparison of what I've had. Cookout for me is number one. Shake Shack is not, it's not my top three. But it was good. It was right. enjoyable. I'm expensive. I like. I think a cookout's my number one because of the variety. Mm-hmm. You can get so much. They have quesadillas, but you, sir, <laughs> for putting Skyline even on the list, dude. You gave me the shits just from you saying that. Okay, so you ready for this? And I've never had their chili rito. Ch- I have. I'm uh, uh, not a fan. Cholito. Not a fan. Whatever. Chili <laughs> cheese. Onion, and then I add spaghetti on it. I'm not a fan. I, I do oh, like it. Spaghetti on it or spaghetti in it? In it. So it is a burrito with spaghetti in it. It just sounds like carbs oh, and... Oh, oh actually, name. it sounds like painful butthole the next morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm great. <laughs> I had it at lunch. Is it the next morning? <laughs> Give it time. Oh, you're telling me it's going to be like... <laughs> Go away, Siri. You're telling me it's going to be like 18 hours? Sure. Your body doesn't... Run food that fast, unless it's like Mexican food or spicy food. It's chili. It's gonna go <laughs> through quick. Good point. It's, it's chili. You know what? I'm really glad that none What's of you guys that? had what Panda Express. It's I'm I, so glad that I none like Panda. Though. I love Panda. I had that for. I long. hate it. This literally tastes like space sugar. To me. Panda. Yeah, that's the whole point, Dalton. I don't, that's why I love it. <laughs> I can tell Mountain Dew addict. I had it for lunch. <laughs> All right. So, so want to know what? Let's start with our absolute bums of the week. No, I, I, I'm upset. None of y'all said Taco Bell. Taco Bell's good, but like, I thought they lied to me. They said they got rid of the Baja yeah. free. Just been like freaking the freaking soapbox for the last year. Literally on strike. Yeah, you might as well said that here. There you go. I am still pissed that Taco Bell got rid of the Cool Ranch Doritos tacos because I absolutely. That was like one of the like least medicine. popular ones. Yeah, but it's so I hard. Made, I slapped and I made sure we they found the only two stuff. fans. I think we found the only two tacos. I mean, yeah. Taco I, I like, Bell, bring it back. Taco Bell is like a sleeper, but I just had Taco Bell recently, and it's the first time I've had like normal Taco Bell, like not yeah. Taco Bell breakfast. Taco yeah. Bell breakfast is it's okay. It's made pinch. anymore. It's okay it in a is. pinch when it's I can't, when I can't get Victor's. It's mm-hmm. okay in a pinch. Yeah. But the breakfast every time I go to Taco Bell, I, I feel like they're like oh, I went Christmas and tried. Here. They have the Taco Bell has the. Uh, the crispy chicken tender. Yeah, the Those crispy cantina. Good. And they technically did bring back the beefy crunch burritos. Yes, I saw that. And They're $2 now, though. I'm yep. telling you right now, I've never woke up at 6 in the morning with the worst, absolute worst stomach pain in my well, life. If you, you don't eat it as much as mm. I do. No, I can't. So, I like, okay, I, so I do want to get back to that whole Cool Ranch thing, because they, they had the flaming Hot Cool Ranch ones. Never tried them. Oh, why would you different. want something hot and cold? It was perfect. Might as well just eat I- icy hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what? It was all right. Right. So you so you loves the weird you, in the corner. You, you, so you you a cold, fiery ring. <laughs> it, it, hey, ring a cold, fire. It's, fiery it's so ring. cold. It's so hot that it's cold. It's so hot that it's cold. I I, I, I think that's what Dalton was thinking about your vape earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That shit burned my throat, dude. I don't know. Okay. Okay. The phrazing. <laughs> I'm honest, I didn't pay attention to what he said. You know what? One thing I really wish, and we need, we'll go to the absolute bum. Yeah, that's the one absolute. thing that I really hate that Taco Bell really needs to bring back. Well, there's two things, actually. Number yeah. one, I heard it's coming back, but nobody's ever given me a straight answer. Yeah. The Mexican pizza. Uh, they are looking at the fall of this year or spring of next year. Okay. Well, the thing is, like, they had it for, like, three weeks, and then everybody was sold out of them. Yeah. Right. Because everybody and wanted Mexican number pizza. two, they need to bring back the Volcano series. I'm down. I like the Volcano. The Volcano sauce was mint. Look, I mean, what do you need to bring delicious. back? What? That uh, the stuffed nacho. You guys remember that? No, yes, the stuffed nacho. The stuffed nacho, nacho slapped, man. Oh man, where it was shaped like a triangle. That thing hit. All right, so so hit. Right, Side dude. topic. What is? They need the, to keep it cheap, though. Real quick, what is the worst Taco Bell specialty item you've ever had? Anything with tomato on it. <laughs> Okay, well, that's everything at Taco Bell almost now. <laughs> that's my point. Yeah, that's my point. I said specialty item. It's my point. <laughs> Stop. Specialty item? I already know what mine is. 
It's that it, it was a breakfast one. It was when they made the egg as the taco shell. Oh yeah, the, the uh, that the, was that was I never ass. Oh, that was I a never, waffle for the. It was the a shell. waffle. No, 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 no. That was the waffle taco. They actually made one when I was in college, mm. and it, wasn't it was egg. just an egg that was like pre-cooked, and they yeah. threw it in the fryer for like two minutes to they like used, get it. Flipped they used, I think I remember they used powder eggs. I can't remember what it's called, but I think I know what you're I swear, about. look it up. It, it's a it. real thing. It mm-hmm. literally was that because they tried to copy the 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 chicken taco. Yeah. They tried to copy that with breakfast and it just didn't work. Um so they trying to do the whole which came first, chicken or the egg. For so, the shell, apparently. Oh. I'm gonna be honest anyway. with you. The one that I didn't like at first, but I had actually had a good one, because like the first one I had was horrible. The grilled cheese burrito. I'm not a fan. The one that has the cheese on the that outside. Sh- that shit hurt my stomach. I will agree with that. That's that, that like, I, I, had, no. I had it one other time, and I was like, okay, this is actually good. Like, they had actually crisped it and everything like that. The first one I had, it wasn't crispy. It was like just a ball of grease. And I'm like, like it, it was too it, much. It wasn't enjoyable. It was too much. Like, and that's coming from a guy right. that loves cheese, as you guys know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a cheese. He really loves guy. cheese. That Olive Garden <laughs> still hasn't recovered. Never will. <laughs> Never will they financially recover at this time. No, they won't. Is that the one that closed down? <laughs> no, that's the one in Ontario. Yeah, the one in Ontario. They're still recovering. <laughs> they're still financially that's, recovering. That's why they were ass when I went there last year. Yeah, it's because I took all their cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Basically, when they when they're still grinding, is to say whenever they get more back in, my aunt takes the rest of. They're it. still grinding my cheese today. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> that guy is ripped. <laughs> Okay, you, you, you've gone down a rabbit hole with this one. You know what needs yeah, to come back? Hurricane. What? Some the sort. snack wrap at McDonald's. Oh, no. A lot Dude, of people kept saying big, those. The Big Mac snack oh. wrap? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God, oh, yes. I never it was so. It was easy. It was quick. You get two of those, you're good. I want the... Then he bring back the, uh, the, the, the mini quesadillas that were a dollar at Taco Bell. Yes. 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 I forgot about one. I forgot about them. Chicken oh my god. god! I forgot about those. Okay. Dude, okay. Do you know how much I lived on those when like <laughs> you saw the uh, I know. Right. We're we're just getting around the hole. I just realized. Hey, we're still recording on our podcast, we're which is sports podcast. We're talking about Taco Bell. <laughs> hey, Taco Bell <laughs> falls a lot of sports. sports. Yeah. Okay, but the still NBA other food. <laughs> Literally, okay. the NBA countdown is sponsored by Taco. Chris, you don't have a. A worse specialty okay. item, or like item. But then you, Taco Bell. Yeah. I was gonna say, usually Taco Bell. I I followed the keep it simple, stupid. I didn't do any specialties. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the same food. Keep it simple, stupid. Huh? Get a Taco Twelve Pack or a huge wrap. That's hey, Chris. Hey, hey, give, give, All right, give, no. give, give no. Chris don't get much of anything. Chris wants a Baja Freeze. I'm sorry, sir. We're out. Do, do you literally see my car? Oh, hey, look, that same guy that wants a Baja uh, Freeze McDonald's. is pulling in. Let's say, hey, ice cream machine. Freeze. Yeah, yeah, same thing. McDonald's ice cream machine. I'm sorry, so, sir. What's on the Taco Bell strike anyway. So, uh, how about these bums? I got absolute you. bum of the week. I have a good one. Go ahead. Bring it on. I'm ready, Chris. So, my absolute bum of the week. Yeah. It's actually a fan page. Oh. This one's stung. Oh. So, I'm on good old Twitter, scrolling through, reading some of the camp stuff. Mm-hmm. Follow oh, pa- on the my tweet. Car- yeah. My Carolina Panthers, mm-hmm. and there's a few Panther fan pages I also follow, and I'm reading a few things. Okay. And they were talking stats, and then this one just dropped, d- said something, and it was stupid. I'm like, what is this? Hold on. I click the page. Actually, it's something else. I click the page. The account name said Sam Darnold Forever. Darlet, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And it's seeing me, and then I just read everything, and he... He's he said most intelligent person about Carolina sports, and I just said, buddy, no. And he showed a picture, and it was I'll give credit. It was the Sam Darnold scramble for a touchdown against the Houston Texans, which I'll give credit. He actually played smart for one play. One the play. dude described it as can't wait to see Sam Dutton run every play. That stung me. I literally turned off my... I was at work, too. I was take My machines were running. I took a little bit of a break, and I just seen that. I sat my fo- my phone down, and I just stared at my, my machine for 20 minutes, it felt like. And my, 
Even the lathe was just flashing its yellow light saying it's done. And I just stared right there, just holding it. And I'm like, no, never, never, ever log into this account and try to compare the biggest bum and probably the worst quarter, in my opinion, probably worst or second worst quarterback ever in the franchise of the Carolina Panthers and try to compare him to somebody that was actually a hell of a quarterback for it. No. Never try to use Sam Darnold and compare him to Cam Newton. Mm -hmm. Hell no. But that's my biggest bum of the weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm hopping off the soapbox right now. Hey, Dalton, how you doing? Who you got? So I'm actually following the uh, the Carolina train. Yeah. Uh, my absolute bum of the week is Baker Mayfield. Yes. <laughs> you saw those stats. I, oh, I saw them. Yes. Oh, oh, those saw stats? Them. Sam, okay. Now I do understand. It, it's early in camp. You're not in pads. Mm -hmm. It's fit. Sam Darnold, 11 for 15, five TDs, no, no interceptions. Yeah. That's not in game. Baker Mayfield on a practice squad <laughs> goes nine for 16 and what was it? Zero, zero touchdowns, zero touchdowns, zero touchdowns zero and, and one pick. Yeah. I think it was more picks. Dude, it's, it, you, you've been one. probably thrown with most of these guys in like. They had one pick on video. <laughs> yeah, they had the pick on video, and it was bad. It was oh my God. <laughs> Baker, welcome to your new home, bud. <laughs> welcome to your new home. And the odd thing is they didn't drop Matt Crowell's stats, and they said, Raceland, yeah, who's your bum? Raceland. Raceland. Pass. Raceland. <laughs> you are literally the last guy. Raceland. Wait, no, you, you are. Literally. You're the last but guy. But that's my job. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Elias. Uh, okay, I got one. Uh, the Cardinals for office for putting that stupid ass thing in Todd Murray's contract and then taking it out two days later when you realize, oh, hey, we, yeah, we probably we did should have done that. All right. Chairman. Chairman. I don't think you guys are ready for my bum of the week. The way you're reacting, I'm ready for it, though. You got that giggly ass smile on your face, mm -hmm. and it kind of Drop concerns it. me. It should concern you. You three. You motherfucker. For not liking Skyline. Get out! You motherfucker. Get out! <laughs> I did not disrespect Skyline at all. I'm three like, for not liking Skyline. Get out! I never said I did They're not I said right. trying to figure out why it's on a top three list. Because it's great. great. I didn't, it's have top three. It's I didn't say anything bad about it. Because it's great. I like chili. I said I'm, not, I'm a freaking Cholino. bum because Ooh. I didn't say anything. I didn't yeah. say yeah. negative. I didn't the three stooges. Just, Mm. That's all Mo. Yep. Curly. <laughs> yeah, you do pick Curly. You're Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you are Larry's son, Junior. <laughs> if, if the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. <laughs> your your sandals look like they fit. <laughs> they do fit. There you go. Thank you. So who's your absolute unit of the week? And I'm I'm scared that Chris is gonna take mine. <laughs> so Chris go no, so you, I know I don't know if gonna take mine. I think I'm gonna take yours. <laughs> if you take mine, I am mm. all right, Chris, let's hear it. Now, I know we always said no interrupting. Y'all are gonna stare at me, but I'm gonna say my unit is actually Kyler Murray. The reason why it's Kyler Murray is because he picked the right sport. He got paid to play football. And this money deal that he's supposedly getting is definitely more than what he got and definitely more than what the Oakland, Oakland Athletics are paying. He's getting paid. He's, so he's getting, getting paid to play he's, football. He's getting, he's getting about $46 million a year. And the Oakland, the Oakland, Oakland A's yep. entire payroll in this dreams is no. $48 mil. Yeah. He's making two mil just under what the entire Athletics payroll is. Yeah. Good for Kyler Murray. So Kyler well. picked the right sport. Good for Kyler. That's yeah. where I'm at. Now, does he deserve it? That's a different discussion for another oh, day. God. Anyway, so yes. Dalton, tell me who your who my absolute unit of the week is. No, I'm not. I'm not going to take it from you. It, it was kind of weak too. I was sitting here thinking. I, I found a better one. Uh, my absolute unit of the week is Aaron Rodgers. Just his persona right now with camp uh, and everything. He's just being <laughs> a dog of the team. He is like I don't care. I'm older. I I got good ratings. I let's go. Everybody's saying I'm I, I'm gonna do all this, and he is carrying it like a champ. Aaron Rodgers is my absolute unit of the week this week. He's older. Yeah. What is that? 
Ring. He's older. He's got that. He's got that. That charisma of. Yeah, you guys can't really do anything now. You know, I, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I'll make you guys lose the NFC Championship. Probably, but guess what? That that's for later date, not right now. Right now, he's got the persona of I'm gonna get you a Super Bowl. Yeah, and I love it. The man dressed like Nicolas Cage. I know. That's why that I was also the best meme comparison. See, he knew where I was going with it. I knew where it was. I was waiting for you. Sarah. Trying to get the what Declaration movie? of Independence. What movie was that again? I, uh, I just saw the the meme. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wasn't that movie it. though? It's it. Uh, it's not Convict, is it? I'm not sure. Con Air. Con Air. It's Con Air. He dressed like Nicolas Cage and Con Air. Yes. Raceland, Raceland. Who's your unit? Who you got, Raceland? Uh, my AFU of the week. Mm -hmm. Uh, none of you guys are going to take mine. Oh, okay. I think it's uh, Erling Holland. Ooh. Erling Holland. Okay. Soccer player for oh. Man City. Yeah. I think I remember wow. hearing yeah, I've, I've seen something about this. In his first game, yeah. in the first 12 minutes, had his first goal. Man City won that game, won nothing. Really? He is an absolute fucking unit. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Just end it. Alec? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was waiting for you. So who did you think my unit was going to be for the week? The guy that made that Kyler meme. No. Oh. Hey, screw you. <laughs> no, that's weak. Yeah, that's one I just had to say. That's, 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 that's a good that's, statement. That's damn near bummed here. No, I'm saying yes. Josh Naylor. Oh. Uh, this man single handedly has the best post uh, score yep. in the dugout ever. Like, yep. this man is yes. known for it now. Did you guys see the video that uh, not. Andre not posted? I have not. After he got the go ahead uh, run in game three against Boston, was it? Yeah, game two. Top of the ninth. Oh, he literally, it, every time he goes in after he gets a big hit, is screaming. Oh, 100%. Oh, yes. And that's what you're seeing see it. I'm, and literally, at the beginning of the video, him. Andre is like, this is probably going to go. I'm, I'm going to decide if this goes on. <laughs> and all I remember is he's just yelling, God, I can't even think of what he said. It was with, back when he hit that uh, walk-off. Oh, no, he did one this week as well. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Back when he yeah. hit that walk-off home run and he was he yes, running home. Up. He was running home screaming, and people yeah. were like, "Why are you screaming?" Like you don't know remember. He's the it's biggest. Just he knows he like because as a baseball player, mm -hmm. you know when you just mashed one. Absolutely, oh, he not? just starts yelling as soon as he just mashes the absolute dog piss out of a ball. What was that's what what Jose Batista knew a few years. Yeah, back. I say wasn't that that game winner? He hit like a solid, like strong line drive, and not like a home run, but it was obviously a home run. But it might have been. No, I think it's like a line drive home run. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. He it just his celebrations in the dugout after he is intense, intense man. That is the fire that Cleveland needs. What and the ad with the Cleveland talk? Yeah, they beat the Rays four to one. You yeah. just now got that notification. I got it like I, ten minutes ago. <laughs> Bleacher Report just gave it to me. There, so. My phone's just charging. So that's yeah. why we're not talking about comments because Dalton's not doing his job. I didn't do my job very well. Boo. I'm not getting up now. Boo. Bum. Everyone boo this man. Dalton's the official <laughs> bum of the week for the whole podcast. <laughs> I was. Well, you had one job and no, you that, said you would do it. Sam Darnold fan page is still. I did. I did. Dalton's right there. Well, gentlemen, I think we're ready to close this guy out. I think about time. So it's about that what time. time we start? Uh, yes. We eight, start 8 30. Yeah. It's two hours is what I'm seeing for the last. We did two hours exactly. Really? Good two hours. That was a good two hour bit. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. Definitely. I did write power hour on our thing, so we did get a good power hour. I didn't drink enough to power hour. Well we had the pizza for a power hour. Too. Good. I don't really need to drink a lot. I got a question. Because I don't I can't think of it off the top of my head. When does high school football start? A couple weeks. A couple weeks. Uh, next few weeks. And uh middle to end of August. Because I know they're starting two a days Monday. Yeah, I'm yeah. Two yeah, days, Monday, always two days in the state of Ohio August. starts yeah. Monday, which I heard, I think the first game will be August nineteenth. I heard that uh, or August twenty sixth. Integration of camp now they can do the progression. Yes, so they're all full. Like unless you're behind, you're full pads. Right. Day one. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that till now. You can be, but you don't have to be. Uh, mo most teams. You will be it, though. 
If you're competing for a, a state championship, you will be. Mo- most you teams. Day one of, of two days. So camp, not two days. Oh. Camp. Day one of camp, which yeah. you can do for a week or I think it's like 12 days. Right. Something around those. Yeah. It's seven to 12 days you have optional. Mm-hmm. Right. They can, think- they can do their progression then. Take, I think it's two to three days off. Start two a days. Mm-hmm. And go right into wearing full gear. I say, Beck Not played, like how when we did it, when it was uh, first five days of two days. Was progression. Was progression. Right. So Yeah, because I know Bexley had their progression last week. They didn't do pads. And then they'll start pads, I think, Wednesday, maybe Tuesday this week. So good luck to all high school players. Yes. All 100%. Um, Keep it safe. Well, and, yes. If there's one thing I do miss, I do miss high school two days. College, mm-hmm, college, no. <laughs> college camp was fun, but I do miss high school two days. It was nope. fun. So, sick. So the reason I asked because I mean we've been doing, we've been doing recordings on Friday nights, and we're gonna have to change that up here come soon. We very much are. Yeah. We're gonna, uh, we've brought up and talked about that schedule change, and it's August nineteenth, be... that Friday night. Okay. We need a schedule, sir. You and I do. Yeah. I bet it's in an email somewhere that you and I have not looked at. Probably is. Yeah. As I say this, Paul is probably actively messaging me. How dare you? I say, although, I mean, Paul's usually pretty good about sending stuff to my mm-hmm. my personal email. Yeah. He's saying, how and dare you have it? You checked your Harding's email. Harding's first game is against Mount Vernon. You know, it always is. Harding's first game is always against Mount Vernon. Harding's first game, is like, Harding's first game is like, has been against Mount Vernon. Like the yeah, first. And they always do like... Lost. Uh, <laughs> they always do Buckeye Valley yeah, or... National uh, Arrows. Somebody else for the scrimmage. It, it's, don't wear haze. It, it, don't wear haze for this scrimmage. Thank you. They've, they've yeah, because I played haze. They played Mount Vernon every year for the first game since hell, 2013. We were in high school. Much. At least 15 because 2013. They did 14. 14 2015, the 14 15, 15, season. Yeah. Because when I see when I worked for another radio station, um, we would follow Harding, yeah. and that was the first game we went to was at Mount Vernon. Yep, and it's every it's the first game every year. Yeah. They're saying Mount Vernon Stadium is pretty tight. The, the, the press box was terrible. Yeah, I'm talking on field. Oh, the field, the mile, field, the field now to walk to the visitor locker room. The field now is nice. I've never played either one of those teams. Uh, we played Harding. Uh, now we played Grant. We played Grant. Yeah, played Grant. you're playing middle school. No, we played Harding because all the Grant kids were in high school. I guarantee you, because there was a kid with a full beard as long as mine. And I know because I lined up against him. <laughs> I don't even remember that. I do because I got my hand smashed three times. I'm surprised you don't remember that. Oh, I got a story. When we go off, I'll I'll tell you. And it'll jog your memory pretty okay. quick. Well, what? you guys got any final words? I was say we do have a. I do actually. As always, go polar bears, go bucks, go tribe, go, go crew, tribe. go team, go teams. That's about it. Yeah, same old. Listen, what you got? Uh, so I am big. I'm going on vacation. It's more of a daycation for three days next week. Mm-hmm. Um, so next Wednesday, uh, I am going up to Cleveland. Yes, for the Guardians Diamondbacks game. Yes. There you go. Okay. Uh, if you're available, I have two tickets. I probably have to work. Th- no, I have to be. Mm-hmm. It's Wednesday. It's the one o'clock game. It's a one ten start. Mm-hmm. Ooh, one ten start. One you're, ten. you're in and out of Cleveland by, you're out of Cleveland by six, seven. Uh, problem is, I already signed up to work Wednesday. Uh, yeah, and and like, I'd, I'd have to leave early, anyways. Right. Because Wednesday night, I'm driving to to Columbus. Mm-hmm. Because me, buddy, and uh, our our friend Eddie, and yeah, me, James, and Eddie are going to All Elite Wrestling. Oh, nice. in Columbus, the first time they're going to be in Columbus. Nice. nice. So we're going to that, and then Thursday, next Thursday. Hard to believe, but next Thursday, James and I are going to the Hall of Fame game. Oh, yeah, because that'll be the Jaguars and Raiders. I'm yes. so excited. It's less than a week away. Yes. I'm week so away. excited. Yes. James said, I want to get there early because I want to watch Trevor Lawrence warm up because I know he ain't playing. <laughs> He's like, I want to see Devonta Adams warm up in the Raiders gear. I know he isn't playing, but you know, just good to see him. He also, wants, play one series. he also wants to see Tony Baselli walk the 50 yard line. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, because he's yes. enshrined. So he said he's sad because he can't be there Saturday for the enshrinement ceremony uh, because they have a seven on seven. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And, and like, wait, they're still doing seven on sevens during two days. Yeah, they did. We did. So we no, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We did. They, yeah, they changed it. I don't remember that. We did. Freshman year, you weren't. Well, you weren't there. You you may have been weightlifting. You may have been lifting and whatnot. But they, this is back when they still had me at tight end. I don't remember. Before that. I got hurt. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Um, because uh, some filthy moron. This is you know what this is my AFB of the week. What do you got? Oh boy, the filthy moron who decided the enshrinement ceremony needs to be at noon and not eight o'clock. Yeah, the enshrinement ceremony starts at noon this year. I heard about that. Not eight o'clock. Why is it so early? Beats me. That is weird. It's stupid. So they all get. I don't know. I don't know why. It's not Bob. It's, that, that is an under the lights anyway. But yeah, and then Friday I'm just you know nothing chilling. Chilling because my birthday because my birthday is next Tuesday. So chilling and chilling. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I got to work on my birthday, but who cares? Yeah. No, I get that. Adulting. Well, we, well, yeah. we got to figure out recording next week because you know I got a schedule. So, yeah. Chris, you got anything? We can do a Friday. We can work we on. We can it. work on it. But as always, it's whatever's going in. Definitely a good podcast to talk about. Hmm? Got the special out, so be on the lookout for that. Definitely got a lot of posting with the new episodes. Keep your eyes up to date. And you and I need to do our episode. Yeah, we got a special we need to get ready for, so be on the lookout for Raceland and I for a special. There'll be another player special, and right. Raceland, I'm sure, is grinning ear to ear for it. Uh, <laughs> yes. But there's a grin. I went out and bought, and, uh, because, real quick, Sorry to cut you off, but Mount Vernon has like an actual game store, not a GameStop. Ooh. And I recently just bought a PS2. Oh, nice. And so I went in there into the game store today, and I bought uh, NCAA 2005. There you go. The man on the cover? Mm. The man on the cover? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah. waiting. Kurt Warner. Mm-mm. No. 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 Kurt Warner wasn't on the cover of an NCAA oh, God, game. I can't no. even think. Sorry. Sorry. I know who it is, but I'm letting you say it. You say it. I can't remember. The GOAT. Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, God. He's on the cover of NCAA 2005. I think I have 03 or 04. I can't remember. Yeah, 04 has Palmer. Uh, but the, okay. here, here's the true go. Anyway. Chris, I, I have never wanted to punch you so hard. I love you too much. I'm ready to see this. Was that a Smith jersey? <laughs> it was. It's pristine, too. That's nice. Yeah, I wouldn't expect less out Put of Chris. Put that away, dude. Point. Put that away. But no, stop. I mean, stop. For you. <laughs> honestly, for the, um, it's my final moment. You had your time. But no, player special with Race Line High is on Larry Fitzgerald, and I'm also ecstatic to talk about it. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald's one of my favorite receivers of all time too. I probably Steve Smith, Larry Fitz. I got bored one year and put them both on the same team, and man, I. That quarterback was having the field day. I can't remember who I had at QB, but definitely be on the lookout for that special, and we got plenty more. Absolutely. Let's roll it. Yep. Well, I got to get... Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. I just had to make sure I had everything ready, prepared here. But good. on that note, I will thank you for listening to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. On that note, buddy, I think... But uh, I think that is all we're going to have, sir. I, uh, I, I feel...